And it is like, I figure, you know what, since it's October 1st, and you know, it's Friday night, Friday Night Fright's live edition tonight. We're gonna be popping on, uh, pop, popping on this half hour classic a little bit of Dick Smith's monster makeup, like handbook, but on VHS form. Had this since I was a kid, and I figure, you know what, to kick off Halloween time spooky season, I'll show this on the TV, we'll just, we'll talk, watch this. It's like only like 25 minutes long or something. And from after that, we'll just hang out here, we'll chill, conversate, all that kind of good stuff. I'm just gonna wait for like five minutes or so, and then I will be popping this on a little bit. What's up, my man, Mark? What's up, bro? What's up? DJ Mexicano de Tex. Frank Castle, what is up, dude? But yeah, just, you know, popping this on. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen this one before. You know, it's kind of cool. Check this out, I got a little booklet in here of how to do makeups and those kind of things. So good stuff right up here. Um, so if you guys ever seen this before, so I'm about to pop this on. Hope you guys will dig it. And we'll, we'll sit on the couch, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna put the lights down a little bit more. And that's how we're gonna do, man. What's up, Mr. Nichols? What's up, bro? We do a Friday Night Frights live edition with some monster makeup on videotape on the 4K VHS 4K now, dude. What's up, Rat Mine? Right. Thank, thank you, Rat Tail. I was supposed to go to like this thing earlier tonight. I didn't even get a, end up going. I was supposed to go to LA for like a, a haunt, but uh, I wasn't able to go. So that's why I'm, I'm just in town. So that's why. But we'll definitely be chilling next Saturday and checking out the cool alien themed place we're going to so it should be rad but um but yeah this should be dope it should be fun I don't know if you guys ever seen this before I had this since I was a, a kid I think I got this when I was like um 10 or 11 years old at a Sears outlet center with my grandma I think my I, my mom worked there part-time it was in College Grove area in San Diego Sears outlet center back in the early 90s and they had a bunch of videotapes there VHS I think this was like probably three dollars or something that I was really into makeup effects as a kid. And I was just like, this is cool right up my alley. Make how to do how to do makeup effects, you know, for the first time beginners and how to do it by Dick Smith. And at the time I really didn't know much about Dick Smith because I'm a kid, you know, so kind of like, you know, kind of knew, kind of didn't know. I heard his name. I was really into Tom Savini stuff early on because I got scream greats at the same place. And I can only imagine the videotapes overlooked there. I can only imagine the videotapes overlooked and I messed that up. So but I did buy some tapes. I still, I still get some tapes like this one and a few handful of others that I had since then. And we have a, uh, a, a donation up here, a super chat here from Brent Amania, five buck chat. What's up, favorite cartoon, um, uh, what's this one? Um, Halloween special, stay legendary. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much for the super chat. So super chats are open if you guys wanna do that or PayPal at Cinestalker in case you wanna do that too. Um, my favorite, Special, you gotta love, there's a few of them. You gotta love uh, Charlie Brown's, you know, the, the Great Pumpkin. Charlie Brown's always classic. I think it's always on CBS, um, like the first week of October, so I'll look out for that. Uh, always like watching that one. Uh, Garfield and Friends, Halloween one's fun. Um, man, there's, there's other, oh, but those ones I'm forgetting too. But those are the ones I always remember, you know, especially Charlie Brown, that's always a classic. And, but I always watch several movies. I always pop on certain movies like The Worst Witch. I always pop this on for how to do makeup effects. It's be kind of fun, makeup fun. So I said about a couple more minutes, I'm gonna go put the TV on, we'll play this, it's already rewound. So we are set to go and do it. And it should be fun and that kind of stuff. Um, but, 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 but yeah, it's good stuff. I think I missed some questions here because I'm just kind of rambling on. Frank Castle, your video on James Dean was dope, thank you. Uh, Beast Sculptor, where's Web Movie One? He's up in his area. He's a few hours away from me or so, so I wish he was closer. We, we, me and him would be chilling more often, but it's a little bit of a drive. But he will be here. I think we'll do something for my birthday if everything all works out, because my, my, my birthday is this month of October on the 20th, so it should be fun. Uh, gonna send us another super chat here from Jacob D. Uh, he says, you the, you, you the man, Danny. Love watching your channel. Keep up the grind. I'm gonna watch Basic Instinct tonight. Uh, thank you so much, bro. Appreciate the, the five buck chat. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you for uh, watching and supporting what I do and liking what I do. Appreciate that. 
And uh, Basic Instinct's a good naughty one. A little bit of a naughty thriller, very naughty. But it's good stuff. Vincent Hancock, what's up? Music and movies. Hey, Daniel, Daniel, I'm just curious. What is your TV setting? Do you put it in a cinema mode or standard mode? I uh, just put like, uh, I think it's a standard mode. Uh, 4K, I think, I believe it's standard mode. But I usually put like the surround sound. But I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use no surround sound. I like, well, like, sort of like, I got the sound bar. But this, you don't need no sound bar for that. I'll put cinema mode on sound bar. I just have like a regular, uh, at least standard mode. I'm pretty sure I have, I think, on the TV. Um, but yeah, it's good going out with, yeah, Farrah Lawrence. I know it's about time I did another live. I figure I'd do a Friday Night Frights live. Let's see how this works out. Hope I don't get the copyright bug on it. But I think I should be fine. I think nobody even really knows about this. So I should be good. It's only like said 25 minutes long. So it won't be like a boring hour and a half thing watching this so it'll be fun so i'm gonna get down let's get down to it now let's go walk over here let me unplug you guys from the charger and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna walk over here walk in my area oh yeah get some lights going on i'll make it a little bit darker in a bit but that's what we're doing that's what we're doing dude i'm gonna put the tv on sorry but sorry it's a little bit dark right here i'll, I'll try to do it like I'll, re, I'll do it like this so the light is hitting my face so you can kind of see me so it won't be too crappy for the moment for the moment, I'll, I'll go back and forth from the TV and whatever. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you're gonna go like this and you go like that. Boom, gonna put, gonna, gonna make sure we get the VHS feature on because it's all about the VHS in, in 2021. Antenna for VHS for all you younglings out there. Antenna for VHS. Use one coaxial cable. They don't even you know, you know those other Multi-colored uh, uh, cables, that's a pain. Just use the one and you're good. And, and you're fine. Hook it up in the input-output. That's all you need, brother. And you're set. So we're gonna pop that on. Boom, we got the full screen, VHS screen. Monster makeup. Had this since I was like, you know, said 10 or 11. I'm not exactly sure, but it's around that time. Um, I definitely, one of my favorite tapes ever is this. I love it. Um, it's such a cool, weird one. Oh crap, what did I do? I hit, oh, I shut the damn power button off like a fool. I'm like, what did I do? What did I do? So now we're good. Sometimes it happens like that. Pop it in and hopefully the tape is neat up and we're good. And that's what we're gonna do. So let me flip you around like this and we get you like that so you can see a little bit better. A little bit better, got a little, little pumpkin thing going on like that. Some little lights, nothing crazy, some little whatever, and uh, stuff of that nature. So yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna watch this, and that's what we're gonna do, dude. Let me, let me get the light behind me, huh? It's like really bright. So let me get, let me get this dumb light, because it's gonna be... So that, that, now we like extra dark, so that's a little bit, that's a little bit better, right? That, that's a sexy, sexy look right up here. That's what we're gonna do, dude. So we get the Scimitar Entertainment for Monster Makeup right up here. And so that's what this is about. So this is, so this is what we're doing, folks, right? And that's what we're doing. Let me get some of your uh, questions because I kind of, I think I missed some stuff. Uh, get your Halloween mood lighting on. Yes, I got to get the sexy mood lighting. And I said, I'll, I'll go back and forth between my mug and the TV. And sometimes I won't talk too so you guys can hear what's going on and stuff of that nature. This is a pretty cool tape. Um, yeah, Dick Smith. So you're gonna love this. See that? Looks kind of cool. Kind of scary looking Dick Smith with the lights. If you guys like this live, man, thumb it up. You got 13, lucky 13. Let's get a little more of those thumbs ups. Show the video around, let people know I'm live if you like. But look, this is the book. Yeah, look at this, see that book? <laughs> That's what we're doing. This is my fun, low budget, easy Friday Night Frights. What's up, Mike C? Can we get a, a, a Macho Man impression? Yeah, we get the uh, Friday Night Frights hosted by uh, get Dick Smith here on videotape. Yeah. <coughs> so you have to make blood. That's how you make blood, folks. Caro syrup. That's right. Good blood. I used to make blood. I used to have blood in my fridge, fake blood, of course, year round. My, my grandma and mom and them didn't think it was weird. They thought it was, they probably thought it was weird, but they, they accepted my 
weird things and I would like make my face all blighted up in the bathroom and like do goofy stuff like that. So yeah. This is like a low budget uh, cheap effect how to make teeth. You use sugarless gum. This is kind of gross. Watch this. It's like... So he gets like he dries his teeth and he puts like gum on his teeth and he uses like dry roasted peanuts. To use, like, it's like a low budget uh, <laughs> way to do it. But it's kind of cool because it's weird and dated, you know? So I don't know. I don't, I've, I've never done this one because I, I think it would just fall out of my mouth. But there it is, folks. There it is. What kind of beer am I have tonight? I don't know. I'm going to have a beer maybe after I show this. And I hope this ain't too boring for you guys. I hope this is cool. I hope it's cool. Hope it's cool. That's how it's done. <laughs> it's uh, get the see that. I don't know what that. Is. There it is. Uh, yes. Am I dressing up for Halloween hex? Um, I, I am. I probably will, and I'm not sure what I'll be at. But I'll dress up as something, but I don't know what. I'll dress up. Let me see you guys down here real quick. I'm going to grab something real quick. So you guys will sit on my table and chillin' with the lightings. And I'll be right back. That's how you make the teeth, folks. Dental wax teeth. Bam. Am I going to see Halloween Kills? Yes, I will. I'll be watching it in the theater and also on Peacock because I have Peacock. So I will definitely be watching it on uh, both. Like I'm going to watch it in the theater first and then I'm going to watch it on Peacock probably the same dang night and probably throughout. Hopefully, the, hopefully it's as good as the, the other one that came out. I like the other Halloween they did. An official sequel. So I'm hoping... It's as good as that, if not better. So it looks really good, the trailer. So I'm excited about it. I can't wait to watch it. Oh my God, it's gonna be awesome. Like, like the coolest pre-birthday gift to get is watching that. So yeah. Hope the picture quality is, is the picture quality good? How is everything going? Hope there's no weird issues. I think it's fine, but I just always like to check and ask to make sure on your guys' end. This part's a little bit like, okay, cool. Thanks, Miguel. Um, yeah, yeah. thoughts on uh, Saints of uh, Newark. Um, I, I Toy Cartel, I really liked it. I thought I was, I watched it late last night. Um, like at one in the morning till about three in the morning, I was up watching it. So um, I definitely enjoyed the Saints of uh, Newark. Um, def a gr really good, but better than I thought. I wasn't sure. And uh, Michael... Uh, Gandolfini, uh, James Gandolfini's son, did a great job portraying Anthony in the show. And it's a great one just to watch. If you're like a, a Sopranos fan, there's a lot of cool like things they say in it. But yeah, I don't want to give nothing away, but definitely if you have HBO Max or in a, you're watching the theater, uh, definitely check out that Sopranos movie. It's super good. So now he's going to do like a monster makeup on this kid. <laughs> is what you do. Uh, yes, Mike C. I do have Scream Greats with v, uh, on VHS. Thank you, uh, Mike, for the lighting. These are cool. I say I, I bought one of these like little makeup kits. I ordered it from his uh, like PO box or a catalog, and I actually had it. I just, I just don't, I wish I kept it. I lost it. Um, wish I had it though. I used to have like a little makeup box, like a fishing, like like a tackle box, but I would have makeup in it. I would do. And have all my makeup stuff in there as a kid. Who was better, this dude or Tom Savini? I would say Dick Smith is more like legendary because he was like, you know, he started a lot of these makeups for the first time. Like, like he was really big into foam latex, um, uh, bladders for bullets. Uh, he really revolutionized makeup, uh, Dick Smith. So he was, I would say definitely Dick Smith and then Tom Savini because Tom Savini idolized Dick Smith. So yeah, I would say definitely Dick Smith is like, he's a uh, master, uh, Dick Smith. Definitely. Yeah, 
let me clap them cheeks, Tucker. If you want to clap them, you can totally clap them. <laughs> See, it's like you're watching this with me right now. Yeah, and Jack Pierce was, uh, the, yeah, definitely King Jack Pierce. De definitely the first one with the universal makeups. Uh, absolute master, too. That, sh that, that was so hard on the, make the makeup he did with doing the monster of Frankenstein. That was all built up. Um, each time you had to build that up, it took hours with like wire glue, um, hard materials, but it looks like absolutely perfect. Like real, it's like amazing. Yeah. Jack Pierce, absolutely amazing. We're bringing out the skull underneath his... Uh, JB 87, one flick that has yet to be released on a uh, Blu-ray DVD. Yeah. Paperboy. I've never seen Paperboy. I've been, I've been wanting to get that one like the list past year on VHS, but I've, it's been eluding me. But that's when I want to check out. I've never seen it, but it looks pretty cool. Sort of on the on the uh, uh, premise of Mikey, kind of like that, I believe. Do a ICP makeup tutorial. Um, I could sort of do one, but if I had the beard, it'd be a lot easier. But I, I, I definitely dressed up as ICP um, uh, back in the day. Um, yeah, my birthday is this month on the 20th of October. The same birthday as Snoop Dogg and... Um, Bella Lugosi, same birthdays we share. Toy Cartel, what's up, MK Solid 82? Am I going to Disneyland this month? Yes, I would definitely want to go to Disneyland this month. I'm definitely try to go with my mom as a uh, birthday gift to myself. <laughs> so this makeup on Little Big Man was incredible. Yeah, that, that old age makeup was absolutely amazing. Yeah, Rick Baker, those are all my favorites. You can't go wrong with the favorite. I always love said. Um, Tom Savini was one of the first ones I kind of, as a kid, with Scream Greats, um, swashed without even knowing who he was, really. Then I got me to Dick Smith. And then I found out about Jack Pierce, then Rick Baker, and then Rob Bottin. Those are my favorites of uh, makeup. He's doing, he's doing like, a, like a vampire makeup. Um, on this guy, so so it's so it's kind of cool. Like he's gonna do like this shadowing um, on his lips and things of that, which is it's pretty it's pretty good basic makeups. I heard about that. They're making a Vira figure. That's dope. Uh, Neca. That's so good. Yeah, those are all the. Yeah, there you go. And Mike's on the, on the same list. Botine's amazing uh, with the thing makeup and the, the howling. But the thing is like, but that makeup is like friggin' insane. Like how they how they did all that. Mm. So this is like you, know, they can, you can use this folks to like, you know, kinda kinda you know I'm, I know I'm talking over you kinda can look back and if you're trying to figure out what kind of makeup stuff to do for Halloween or whatever. Boom right here. <laughs> um let me see what's this. Uh I used to read Goosebumps in October at a furious pace back in the day, brother. Yes, I would some get up some, when I was a kid. Yeah, goosebumps. I have a stack of goosebumps in here, like, like a little stack of goosebumps. I'll bust those out and have them by the uh, table, on the coffee table underneath, just to have. You know, because they're, they're they're great stories. They look cool covers and yeah, it's just like little shadowy effects with the lines making the mouth look a little more bigger. It sort of looks like old school Undertaker. <laughs> it's like the very first Taker. It definitely has that look like. OG Taker. That's crazy. Your birthday is on the 18th. That's awesome. Altered States and Nexus says F the world. Yes. Baby powder. You gotta, you gotta use powder to set the makeup. Always use powder. Always use that powder. That's what I, that's, that's what I found out as a young kid. You don't want a greasy, shiny makeup. It'll smear. <laughs> you gotta set it. <laughs> you get a little blush brush and brush it off. <laughs> Anyone excited for a New York Ninja movie? I, I don't know. Uh, I think I heard something about that. I always like this cool room back here because all these like different heads on the wall, like molded heads. And um, I always wanted to go in this like his little lab, makeup lab room and see what's in these little boxes in there. Always, they always want to check this out. But, uh, you know, never did. But it's like it's somewhere in Pittsburgh, I believe. Yeah, Blair Witch Project. Yeah, it's still kind of creepy. Um, 
the shakiness of the camera is annoying in <laughs> Blair Witch, but it still is pretty creepy uh, movie. D d definitely don't watch it if you're going camping. Buchler, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a great uh, makeup artist too. Love the game. I pooped today, and it was good. There you go, man. That was that's what I'm talking about, dude. You gotta you gotta go to the bathroom and uh, a, a bull weevil cheeseburger dump. There you go. <laughs> that's what it's about. So this part's a little bit like whatever. The next part of the makeup stage is pretty pretty cool and that kind of thing. So he does like um, coming up. He does like a uh, a deteriorating makeup. It's it's pretty cool uh, how he does. This is like just some of the basics right now, but it's, it's cool. It's almost, almost this part. It's almost, almost done. Uh, stuff with scout fly. What are I, what am I doing? I'm just here chilling in the dark doing the Friday night frights. Sort of, I figured let's do a quick live one of it. And yeah, that's how we're doing. That's what we're doing, man. That's what we're doing. What's up, uh, Mickey Mendoza? Have you picked up any, uh, NECA, Figure or Frankies? No, I have not picked up any of the Frankenstein ones. I don't. Have, I don't have much uh, NECA figures actually. Thank you, Eddie. I need some more shelving. <laughs> I need to get some more shelves. Uh, next week, I've been delaying that. I got to get another shelf for the Blu-rays and 4Ks. That one's all filled up. And I got one in my room, a mini one, but that's all filled up too. Uh, I did pick up the Monster Mash cereal. No, I don't get the Monster Mash. I got, I just got the uh, Frankenberry. I've not found the Monster Mash one yet. I'll keep an eye out for it, though. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bust open the Frankenberry tomorrow for Saturday morning cartoons and watch Groovy Ghoulies while I have my cereal toast and orange juice. Part of a balanced breakfast, as they used to say. <laughs> Uh, stuff with Scowfly. Have I seen rent a -Pal? Yeah, I, I, I had that for a review. It was, it was, it was pretty good. You gotta get that intense, intensify the vampire eye look, baby. <laughs> Stinky in the City, that's a great name. Also watched the movie one video. He's a cool dude. Yes, he's a cool dude. Walmart has the Monster Family Sizes cereal. Yeah, they yeah they had they had they did yeah that's that's where I bought mine at I bought the um I picked up the uh said the Frankenberry uh, family size it was like I think uh, was it three fifty or something like a week ago but I haven't uh, opened it up yet so Target has the Monster Mash cereal okay I will I I, I looked over there I haven't found it but I'll definitely will uh, check it out and look at this this part's great so it's kind of cheesy it's, it's 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 cheesy but it's good. Look at this, he's putting blood on him. And this part's kind of always cracks me up. He's like, I'll put it a little louder. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Look at that. This part's great. It's like cheesy. Watch this. He's going to hypnotize us. Screenshot that. Screenshot it. <laughs> he, so there you go. <laughs> so, so he's giving him some fake ears. Which is, I tried doing that one time. It didn't work that good. So it was, it was a little bit tricky. But it looks cool. I have not watched Ambulance. A decaying vampire. So I'm talking about. It's happening. Have you seen this movie, The Ambulance? Oh, yeah, the, oh that one, Eric Roberts. Oh, yeah, I heard, I heard that was a good one. I heard that was good. I heard that was good. I heard, I heard about that. I, I got to check it out. I don't know where to find it, though, at. Maybe, um, I doubt it's streaming anywhere. Maybe it is. I'll have to look out for it, see if it's on Tubi or something of that nature. I don't know if it's on there or just order it if it's cheap enough. Uh, Garfield Halloween is great fun from 85. Yeah, I got that on uh, videotape with commercials. I have that. Uh, I found it somewhere. I think I, I found it, I think, at the old video store. I got it for free, and it's like from that era, 85, I believe, and it has the commercials on it still, which I'll be busting that out. I got a lot of, um, oops, I have, I have some also some stuff from like 1990 and 91 from like uh, the movie channel, 
Cinemax and some other paid channel from the early like 1990 and it's like Halloween specials so it has like their lineup of what they're releasing at that time like they're showing the this the, the premiere of Halloween 4 this Friday on the movie channel it's like it's goofy with all the cool bumpers it's so retro so I'm gonna be watching those I'll, make, I'll probably make a video showing some of the bumpers and that kind of stuff so look out for that and I'll post my in my Instagram too and, but yeah, that's I always I'll bust that out too. Um, when am I going to the uh, go the guy's garage? Yeah, I want to go, but um, he's been kind of busy, so I've not had it. Yeah, I've been wanting, but I've been bugging him on it, but I have not had a chance to make it over there. I'm waiting for him to give me the go, but I definitely want to do that and uh, check out and get some tapes. Uh, did I pick up any Boglins? I did not. Any of the new ones. La Crypta Video Club. How are you doing there? I've never seen you before. How's you doing? Cool name. Um, Groovy Ghoulies DVD box set. No, I have it on videotape. I have an old VHS uh, of it. I think like two episodes on VHS I bought like years ago for like uh, five bucks at Kenston Video. When are you stocking again? I got a video coming out tomorrow, which I'll explain more on it after this is over. It's almost over. This is over like in less than 10 minutes. I hope this is going okay for you guys. I hope you guys ain't bored. I hope you guys ain't bored. I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> um, I wish he would give up that Demons uh, 2 television promo. Yeah, dude. I, I, that, I would love to have that Demons 2 VHS promo. That be, I, I would put it like up here somewhere like as a grail so no one will touch it. I would love that. I have commented a few times here and there in your videos, but I don't miss a single episode. Wow, thank you, LaCrypta. Appreciate that. Frank Castle, this guy seems legit. I need to check out his work. Yeah, Dick Smith is amazing. Check him out, man. He's a legendary makeup effects artist for sure. Um, awesome, Danny, not bored. Okay, cool. Ghoulies 2 is very funny. I think my favorite one is Ghoulies 2. Uh, Ghoulies one's okay, but a little bit uh, to me it's a little bit boring. But I like the I like the second one more, with the carnival theme. That one's fun. L yeah, the Naya Quigley's horror workout video. Yeah, that, I watched that on um, on uh, Tubi. If you want, if you have Tubi TV, like you guys can watch Linnea Quigley's workout video on there. It, some of it's edited. They block out her boobs and the nude scenes, but everything else is there, and it's super cheesy. So if you guys want to watch something weird and like a USA Up All Night type thing, Linnea Quigley workout horror workout video on uh, 2B TV, and it's for free. Uh, Hex, what's your favorite anthology? Oh, man. Um, that's kind of tough. Always love Tales from the Dark Side. Um, Tales from the Crypt, the original movie's great. Um... Probably one of, one of those ones. I'm sure I'm missing some other ones too, but yeah. Aim to see Fear, for, uh, Fear Fest in full effect. That's why they're doing the Halloween marathon tonight. David's S. Halloween's uh, pumpkin special. Yes, dude. Yeah, dude. Everything, even uh, Peacock has a full lineup and all that stuff. Yeah, check it out. Uh, if you have 2B TV, uh, watch that on there. You'll, it's, it's cheesy. I don't have it. I never watched it until like last week, actually. That's yeah, pretty cool looking, right? Isn't that pretty cool? That looks pretty dope. He's using like with the uh, the teeth made out of a uh, cheese wax and stuff of that nature, and just like glued on top of his lips with spirit gum. And he's just, just shadowing, and he, and uh, a regular like uh, look is always good with makeup stuff. So, like you know, you don't want it symmetrical. It's always good to have irregularity, so it has kind of kind of gives like a nice uh, look, you know. Any beers? I'll, I'll probably have one after this is over. Um, after this is almost over, like in, I said, like five minutes probably. So once this is done, I'll go over here with the lighting and uh, maybe grab a beer from the fridge or something. I'll have you guys choose one for me. <laughs> from the lineup I have, I got some stone and some other stuff. But it looks cool, though. It looks like a cool, like, I like how that looks, like, with the teeth. It, looks, it is pretty, pretty rad looking. Uh, 
Uh, what big ticket item am I waiting to buy next from MK Solid 82? I don't know yet. Nothing, nothing in particular right now. I think I'm, I'm pretty good. Nothing much I can think of at the moment. Um, Mike C. Horror Pop Culture. Did you ever see Screwball Hotel? Never. I never heard of that. Never heard of Screwball Hotel. What's that about? Blood paste. Blood paste, folks. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good. That stuff's pretty cool. You can, you can make it homemade, and um, it's like that's a cool like this 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 blood paste homemade stuff you can do. Um, it's pretty cool. It kind of gives the illusion of like. It's like thick, goopy kind of stuff. <laughs> there it is. You can eat that. But it's pretty cool, though, so far. So that Screwball Hotel 80s Cheese Comedy Rare VHS. You know, I think I think I you know what I think I've heard of it now. Um, like a sex. Is it a sex comedy? I think I've seen the tape. I think I think I left it somewhere. I think I think I might have. I don't know. I think uh, I think I did. Back in the day, maybe I'll keep an eye out for it, though. I'll definitely keep an eye out uh, for it. Uh, Nocturnal, what are your, what, what is your most, uh, what is, what is your most must watch for horror for the month of, uh, October? Um, always gotta watch this, always watch this. This is a must since I was a kid, Monster Makeup, I don't know why, because I was always a makeup effects fan. So, I must watch that. I gotta watch The Worst Witch. Um, The Midnight Hour is a must. Um, of course, the Halloween franchise. Trick or Treat, the heavy metal movie from the 80s. Got to watch those. Hollow Gate, those are my must. Those are my must. Uh, watches always got to do since I, since I acquired those to get those. And maybe even that dumpsters, yeah. <laughs> I know, it might have been a dumpster, that screwball, screwball, yeah. The Brood is great, too. Got to love a bald cap. <laughs> so, so right now he's going to do like more of a decaying look it's hard to see but he's kind of he's gonna like make his face look like this like with cotton balls all over it and stuff so it's kind of funny so as he's as he's doing that i'll go like this because just you're just gonna like cut the ear out nothing too crazy uh this will be my second year watching the minute hour yeah that's cool i'm glad you like the minute hour love the minute hour if you guys can if you guys ever watch it watch it it's hard to find. It might be on YouTube, but that's a great one. I'm surprised it hasn't doesn't have a Blu-ray release. I think it's like certain song issues. Like that would be one for Vinegar Syndrome or Scream Factory to put out, or even Severin, of course, or like Synops or something. But um, but it's not even. It's you can't. It's like it's weird. I have it on VHS. I got lucky. I found it for a dollar um, five or six years ago at a going out at a random video shop on the whim. For one buck. The same place I found Deadly Prey for a dollar. They had the Midnight Hour for a dollar. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, that's a, cl yeah that, that's a good one, too. The uh, TV movie Trilogy of Terror. That's definitely a good one. I love that one, too. Nocturnal Toothbrush. Nice choices. I'm so sick of hearing the same answer all the time. Nice to hear some other Halloween horror traditions. Thank you, bro. You yeah, always like to try to... I keep my core ones I always watch, but it's a little bit different from other ones with like Midnight Hour. The Worst Witch is like classic since I was a kid. I used to watch it on HBO a lot. I don't know if you guys watch that on HBO a lot. The Worst Witch. Always liked it. Just has those Halloween vibes. I always watch like Halloween Day or the, the Eve of Halloween and all that kind of stuff. I love that. Oh, that's cool. You get that the, 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 the Zuni Warrior figure. That's a creepy figure. I like it. So you get the Try the Fear Street Trilogy. 
Yeah, I don't think I've. I, yeah, I gotta check those out. So yes, he's kind of gluing down the years. It's almost over, uh, but I highly recommend the W N U N U F Halloween special. It's on Shutter. Oh yeah, that's a fun one. I've I've seen part of it, not all the way through. But I might. I don't have Shutter, but I maybe I might do the free Shutter trial for like the, was it the the fourteen day trial? <laughs> maybe like halfway through October, so I can watch it till Halloween. I'll I'll, I'll cheat the system like that. <laughs> just to watch certain specials and, and, and binge watch some Joe Bob Briggs episodes. It's on Blu-ray, yeah. The um, I believe Vinegar Syndrome just put that out, right? W-N-U-F. Uh, Eli Ross, History of Horror. I did not check it out. No, I'll be watching it probably after this because I'm doing this now. So there'll be like a replay of it, I'm sure. I gonna, am I going to watch a Chucky series? I mean, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll peep it out. For, I'll, I'll definitely see how it's like for uh, curiosity. So he's like putting all this cotton stuff in the guy's face. And he's going to use like this liquid uh, like paint. We got 74 up in here strong. Heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Thank God no one out. No, one, no one's like, thank God I have no one here. Imagine if I had no one here. He's like, what are you doing, Danny? Why are you watching this? I'm like, I don't know. So I'm glad you guys are still sticking around and getting people in here. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, uh, that makes me feel good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Was Venom that one pretty good, the new one? Oh, we don't watch that much superhero movies that much. Like comic book ones. Yeah, Not Living Dead's always classic. Hocus Pocus, Fright Night. Night of the Creeps is great. Those are definitely ones I'll be uh, probably checking out too. Um, I, 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 I never got the uh, Batman 89 serial. I never bought it. I left it over there. I can always get it though. I think that, that doesn't really cost too much to buy. But I do have my I do still have my Adams I do have my Adams family cereal though, I have my Adams family cereal. I got one sealed up, and I got one opened up for Adams family. I got my sealed one is up there. Tried a uh, bulgogi beef. Yeah, that stuff's good. Mega Man was good too. Yeah, Mega Man's great. Creepy movie. Favorite. Shark movies, uh, Orca. Gotta love me some Orca. It's such a sad one too. At the end of it, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> so this is almost always doing like a decayed, rotted vampire, which is kind of cool. Um, just imagine getting all that crap off your face, though. That'd be a pain in the arse. This is over like in two minutes. So not that bad. If it's only 25 minutes, it feels a little bit longer because it's like a lot of stuff going on, but it's it's really cool and classic fun. Is this yeah, the, I'm so glad I kept this. I'm glad I wasn't the I didn't destroy it when I was a kid. Cause this has like a uh it's a booklet attached on the cover. So I'm glad I didn't destroy it. So always always kept my stuff pretty good. So I'd be so mad at myself if I destroyed it like an ass. I'd be like, uh. My recent uh, celebrity crush female. Um, I don't know. I, I like uh, this certain female. Which ones? Um, man, I don't know. I, I, I like. I, well, it's, it's, she's. I don't know if she's a celebrity, but she's like a, a Latina celebrity. Like, like music is that girl. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Carol G. She's pretty freaking hot. So I don't know if she's like whatever. But you guys know about her. But she's pretty freaking hot. Isn't that cool looking? That's a pretty cool makeup. Farrah Lawrence I have a bootleg copy of the Minute Hour on DVD. I've been watching since I was a kid. Heck yeah, Farrah. That one's a good one. Kind of a sad, sort of sad too, the ending of it. It's like a little little bit of a romantic uh, tw sort of in it. But uh, I always liked that one. Um, I remember watching it one time on TV as a kid, and then I haven't seen it for years. And then I, f I had to, I forgot, I need to know the name of the movie. And I found it, and I was like, oh, that's the name of the movie. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, I mean, after that, I've been. 
always watching it and I got lucky enough to find it on videotape and uh, it's been a tradition ever since. Just watching that and me trying to turn people on to watching the Midnight Hour as much as I can to spread the word of the Midnight Hour. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need some 555. Five, five. I've never seen 555. Five, five. I always want to check that one out. Slime Ball, Bola Rama is cool. That's a good one. You have it on videotape. I have a sealed copy of that on VHS. I never opened it up. I have it on DVD too. But I have I don't I never opened up the uh it's still sealed. I bought it for like 50 cents. Uh like maybe like eight years ago at uh Kenston video. I should open it up for the hell of it. Like what the, I'm not gonna sell it like so what the heck? I should just open it up. <laughs> Watch it on video. Yeah, the Midnight Hour is fantastic. The ending is great. The ending always kind of makes me... It used to make me tear up, the ending of Midnight Hour, but it's good with the, with the girl. <laughs> but it's a great, great movie. Made for TV, LeVar Burton. Everyone's in it. It's, it's good. A little corny at times, some of it, but it's fantastic. Do I have Dead Pit? I have it on DVD. Yeah, the, yeah, yes, the 1985 Midnight Hour. Yeah, I got Dead Pit from um, Code Red. I remember Code Red back when? I have a lot of Code Red titles on DVD. Um, that's one of them, the Dead Pit. Yeah, check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, definitely watch it. It's really good. Yeah, the world for yeah, it's creepy, yeah. Always, always watch, oh, yeah, one I always watch, too, is The Monster Squad for Halloween. I always got to watch The Monster Squad. You know, I don't think I've seen Satan's Little Helper. Um, I, I got to check that one. For some reason, I don't think I've seen that one. I've always seen the cover of it, and I've always came across it, but I never, I don't believe, ever saw it. So I will watch it for sure. Um, maybe this weekend I'll check it out. Remind me if I don't, if I forget. Remind me, please, Farrah. Say, Danny, you watch this damn thing in case I forget. You never know. <laughs> Danny, have you ordered anything from 8-Bit Zombie? They have awesome 80s prism stickers. Now, I've never uh, never heard of them. I don't think I've had 8-Bit Zombie. Yeah, my squad is awesome. Yeah, that's a must. Well, that's cool. You bought a whole bunch of uh, sealed horror tapes. It's hard, hard to find a player, um, a working good one. eBay, but it might be kind of expensive. But definitely keep your eyes out at the thrift shops or antique shops, you might find one for a good deal. Or look on Craigslist. Look on Craigslist or uh, Facebook Marketplace, and maybe someone might be just getting rid of one. They might think it's crap, you know, and they just want to – you might find a good one there um, for a cheap price. So keep your eyes peeled on those. Or even, like, uh, yard sales too. Because a lot of people don't think – they think it's, like, crap. So that might help. Maybe, maybe you might find some luck and find a VHS player tomorrow or something. Do you have any Playboy VHS in your collection? I, I do not. I think, you know, I think, do I have one of them? I, I don't think I have none, no. Uh, yes, I've been live on Instagram uh, before. I don't go there too often, but just sometimes, always for, I was like, eh. I always go on YouTube, it's more fun, but um, I have not been on Instagram live in a while. It looks kind of creepy. <laughs> I like it. So, yeah. Uh, what's up, friend Manhattan? Hey, Cade. That's cool. I love Choppy Mall. It's good cheese. So this is, this is pretty much over. Uh, yes, I love me some Blood and Blood Out. <laughs> That's what you do. That's right. There it is. That's how it is. That, 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 that is... The the that that is the thing, right up here, of the uh, Dick Smith's monster makeup to kick off October first, baby. Friday Night Fries live edition on here, and that's that's pretty much it. And what you gotta do when you get when you get that, you kind of just you you stop it, you stop it, boom, and you gotta rewind the damn thing because it sucks when you. 
fun to watch this and it's like not rewound, you gotta wait. So I'm gonna rewind it now, be a good boy, and rewind that sucker. And then put some lights on because it's kind of, you know, a little bit dark in here. So I'll get, you, I'll get back to my regular setting. I should get a tape rewinder though, yeah. There we go. A little bit like that. That's what we're doing. Boom. Bam. Ba bam. Here we go. So yeah, so that was, you know, monster makeup right there. I'm going to plug you guys in because uh, when you go live on these things, it can, it can drain the, uh, the battery. So that's what I'm doing right now. So don't, don't mind me doing dumb, dumb stuff like this. I should use my laptop to go live and hook up a uh, HD camera or something like that, but uh, I ain't doing that, so, but, you know, who knows? I'll be, I'll be right back. Maybe I'll do that sometime, though. So, boom, I was, I'm way over here, in case you're wondering, where, like, where's Danny at? I'm over yonder right now. I'm over yonder. I gotta uh, do all this. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, shut my TV off. And we're cool. All that fun stuff. There we go. We're good now. Okay. Bam. We're good. And yes, I'm just kicking back wearing some shorts. That's what I'm doing. Okay, we're back, man. We're back. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, you know, a little something different and, uh, you know, fun, I think. So there's something to share from my childhood with you guys that I've always been watching as a tradition. And I probably missed some comments. Oops. Let's see what we got here. I missed some comments, so. Boop. Okay. What do we got here? What's up? Um, ba 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 I have Pin and Elvira. I offered to send Danny a tape rewinder. He refused. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't get the tape rewinder. Yeah, I should I should get one. I should I should get one. Um Doomcat, yo Danny, what's up? Watch it from my worst cafeteria in South Dakota. That's crazy. That's cool, man. You're way to South Dakota. But yeah, good stuff. So you fix some of this up a little bit better. I'm trying to get this right. Hold on. I'm trying to get the with the lighting that kinda there we go. My hair's kind of goofy right now. When you wash your hair, it gets kind of goofy. So something like that. So, but monster makeup tape right up here. Boom. And good stuff right here. Good stuff. Love this one. And yeah, so fun, you know? So have you, have you guys ever watched this before? As it does, have you ever, does this ever ring a bell? Like, have you seen this anywhere? Like at your at a store or um, somewhere. Have you guys ever seen this? I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. It's, every time I show this, though, no one's ever seen it. So I don't know if you guys have seen it. And it's inside. You get like a, like a little booklet. It's like a, it's attached on top of the tape. But yeah, I think it said three three dollars. I got this for back in the day. So tradition. I love it. It's one I'll you know I'll go to the grave with that one. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's on YouTube. I try. Let's, they have different ones on YouTube, but they don't have uh, this one. I don't think they have this one on YouTube. And um, yeah, I don't think so. I'll tell Mom Pop Video Store. Definitely remind me you to watch Sage's Little Helper. Vinegar Syndrome have some great titles coming out. Never seen it before. Spent that midnight hour while talking with us. That one I might not do all the way through because copyright stuff. This one I don't think really matters because it's like. Uh, kind of weird and I don't think no one really knows so I think it's okay but for a whole movie you can get in trouble if I have it in the background so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like that for right now if it was like Night Living Dead like Living Dead on it's public domain or something or some public domain movie but um not right now I'll do something a bit Danny what conspiracy theories do I, do I believe in I don't know I, don't, I mean I don't know like if aliens or conspiracy theories or Area 51 maybe stuff like that um yeah, 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 New York. That's why they're going to release a New York Ninja. Yeah, that, I thought. I mean, if you said that title, I'm like, Vinegar Syndrome is doing that one, so that is good, which is cool. And yeah, it's good stuff. 
Let me put the fold up. Let me, let me grab you guys. I'm gonna unplug you guys real quick. Ba, ba, ba. And then we're going to, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna put the, gonna put the fan on because it's a little bit warm right up here. Put the ceiling fan on. Because you gotta put the ceiling fan on because it gets a little bit warm. And then put the light on right there. And bam, then you guys gotta, you guys gotta like help me out with something. I'm gonna grab a beer for you guys. I'm not gonna get all drunk, nothing like that. So I gotta grab a beer for you guys in the fridge of uh, beer. So um, so uh, we got some, these are some sparkling waters. Happy, those are seltzers. We got hazy IPA. We got the juice and Voorhees. You get the, this high, uh, IPA. And you get this IPA and you get, these are seltzers and you got rolling rock. I don't want this though, it's a stout, too heavy for that. You checked out Funky Town. Um, that's a rough one. That's a horrible one. I got, I got food. I got some, I got some food in there. I got a little bit. Well, mostly just drinks though. I'll go shopping tomorrow. But um, which one should I get? Which one should I drink, dude? Which one? You, which, which one should I have, dude? Juice of Forty sounds gross. Yeah, it sounds like you're juicing his ass or something. Should I get this or this? Let's be homie. So we get this. We get two, two for that. Let me know right now, uh, which one, dude? Which one should it be? The, 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 this should be a, a hazy IPA, the middle one, the, this one. Maybe this one? That looks kind of cool, right? Sir Oat, dude, we got my man Sir Oat. So we feel when Hood drinks five when I get back into town next week. Uh, it's, it's very possible, my man Pierre. My man Pierre dropping the $20 bomb right now. And it is possible and Pierre, since you dropped the 20 deuce or whatever, you know, what drink should I get, bro? And probably we will do a hood drink challenge. We definitely will. Which one should I do? This, this is like whatever, or, you know, with these. I'll put them like this, you know, like that. Which one of these suckers shall I have? Which one? You feeling a bit hazy? Which, 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 which this is hazy, that's hazy. These are three hazies. Which three hazies? The triple IPA. Which one? Which one? Which one? You, which, which one you feeling? The stone, brother. Okay, we'll do the stone. We'll do the stone. A man says it, so we'll do the stone, and we'll we'll do the we'll do the stone haze right up here. So we got that one, and that's what we're gonna do. So, heck yeah, Pierre. Hope hope you're doing well. And uh, I think I think you're you're in Alabama right now, right? So my man's all the way in Alabama, and it's my birthday month too, bro. So I hope you're in town for my birthday. If not, we'll just do something next week. That'll be like the birthday uh, then. So you know what I mean? So here we go, like that, like that, like that, do, 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 do. and there we go, right up there. Like that, like that. You walk over here, I put this down. Boop, boom, put it like that. Plug you all in or whatever. I probably don't even have to, but I'm doing it anyway because I want the thing to die. I think I'm good, but it's like, you know, I might as well charge my phone at the same time while I'm doing this. So, doing that, bam. And if you come over for this for the hood challenge, bro, um, I gotta definitely make a road trip and get some St. Ides 40s. Because you know we need some of them 40s, baby. Pimping in the pimping, pimping apartment in the game. I'm trying, I'm trying, bro. I am trying, man. Why haven't you been live? Looked forward to it every week. I don't know, I always forget sometimes, or I get busy with stuff and I just don't um, go live sometimes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just some one of those things. Uh, what do we got here? Up, up, uh, so you guys definitely should the, the the hood drinks part five. Yeah, we should. It's, it's rough though, dude. Farrah, thank you for the support. You're total babe. Thank you for being here. Yeah, she's a, definitely a babe. Farrah's a babe. Drink to the fair of the babe and my man P A P Air, Mr. Soro. Thank you, bro. Again, twenty bucks, dude. Dude, you picked out the beer, and we will be doing, getting our drink drink on. I definitely will not, you don't chug these. Don't chug those, if you chug them, 
It's you know it's it's just bad. You chug like Budweisers or light beer. Hazy IPAs are definitely not. I mean, you can chug them probably, but I don't recommend it. You might have a bad night. You might have a bad night. I've been there on. The, I've been there live having a bad night. So <laughs> by drinking those and pounding them bad boys. So I learned from those mistakes. You grow, you learn, and you like. You know what? I'm not going to do that again like that. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it is. Um, but yeah, if I had someone here, I probably would do it because more you someone, but just by yourself, it's like I said, you kind of just sip it and you're good. You're just sipping and chilling, sipping and chilling. Um, I know he shakes a clown was written and directed by Bobcat. Yeah, I was. Yeah, the drunk live stream was out of control. Yes, it was amazing, right? Um, <laughs> do I have a P.O. box? I don't have a P.O. box. I always, I should get one. I should get a P.O. box. I should get one. I've been saying for the past like over a year now. Uh, P.O. Box. I should get. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get one tomorrow. Who, who knows? Maybe I'll just do it randomly and just get a P.O. Box finally. Get it for like, I don't know, I think, you, I don't know how long you, I think it's like for one year you pay for it or some crap, but maybe I'll get one so you guys can send me stuff and I can open it up and see what you guys send me and, and send me drinks too and I'll drink them on camera. Just don't kill me. Uh, my man, Sir Oh, my man P sent a 10 buck bomb right here. I once woke up naked in my neighbor's tire swing. Damn you, cheap vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. damn you, cheap vodka. Uh, cheap drinks will give you a fun time. It's cheap so you can drink a lot of it and buy more of it, but then you'll feel like crap and you'll end up in a tire swing or on the floor uh, puking in someone's bathroom that you have no idea how you got there, which I've been there before. And uh, yeah, it happens, but it's fun. Their experiences. But it's all living and learning, but it's okay. Sometimes sometimes you, sometimes you want a cheap drink, just have a little, that hint of nostalgia. But nowadays, mostly you get the good drinks. But cheap drinks are great when it's hood alcohol. Those are the best ones. Those are the best ones. With me, my man, you know, you get Pierre, and we got Mark, and we're chilling, and we're drinking the hood, hood liquor. And, uh, you know, they do, I gotta get that St. Ives, bro. I gotta get me a, a case of St. Ives probably, if I'm able to, just to have in the fridge, like Dr. Dre style. So, um, but if not, I'll buy at least a few of them. So we can all have a 40 of St. Ives a piece or something and then um, it'd be good. <laughs> it'd be good. My man Pierre, my man P is awesome, dude. What is my honest opinion on plastic spoons? Um, I don't know, I mean, I guess they're fun if you gotta use them, right? If you, ever, if you had a barbecue or something, you, get, you gotta use plastic spoons. What do you think the real, uh, do you, how do you think a real blob accident would happen now? I don't know, maybe, um, I wouldn't know. Like maybe just doing experiments and something went wrong and the blob happened. Who knows, it, it, it could happen. Uh, Frank Castle, thoughts on 211. Um, that's a horrible beer. Uh, two, I can't, my man Fluffy drinks it. Um, I think I think I think it's I think the high gravity one um, got discontinued. So I think I, don't, I think I'm pretty sure, but they make the regular 211. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it's a gross beer. Nonetheless, it's just nasty. This is nasty. I can't drink it. Like I'll, I'll drink it if Fluffy's here, like a, a part of it. But oh man, like to actually drink a whole can of it, you feel like crap. This is like that's a gross beer. Uh, favorite juice and Voorhees, yeah, that's good stuff. I found that tea you were wearing at Walmart a few months back, a few years ago. They had all kinds. Yeah, that's cool. They found that one. Fluffy Gamer, Fluffy is the greatest beard in the world. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, so so what beer do you drink now? So there's no more 211s? Are they, are they gone? Like, like so it's just regular 211. I'm, I'm so confused on the 211 thing. So there's no more high gravity. Is it, it's just regular still reserve? I don't know. Which one do you have? That's a good beer. You gotta love some beers. Thank you, Stone Brewing, for sending this my way. Good stuff. Uh, happy uh, October 1st. Yes, happy October 1st. So I'm wearing that for sure. Being very cliche, I'm wearing that, you know. Dr. Diet Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels is so good. It's deadly. Yeah, that's a good one. You don't even taste the the Jack. It just blends in with the Dr. Pepper. Drink it all day. I, 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 you know what? I need, I need a bottle of Jack Daniels. 
I don't have one. I need a bottle of Jack. So number two is my beer choice now is Hurricane High Gravity. Okay, Hurricane, Hurricane, bro. Hurricane, oh my God, so it's number two 11s. No more two 11s, dude. That is insane. That's so insane, man. So it's High Hurricane, yeah, you know, I have I had have hurricanes before. They're not too bad. They're not too bad. I'd, I'd rather do a Hurricane than a, than a 211. What do you think and expect from the Halloween Kills? I hope it's going to be awesome. It should be. I hope. Um, I heard it's like really bloody. So probably really bloody. Like gory. Uh, maybe a pretty fast pace to the movie. I don't know. Really. But I hope, I hope, it's, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I hope it's cool. Like it should be. Like it looks awesome. The, what, the previous Halloween they did before this was really... I liked it a lot. So hopefully it's like that and more, you know what I mean? So it should be badass. It should be badass. So I definitely can't wait. I've been trying not to watch too much uh, trailers of it. I think I did a few of them. But uh, I watched the first one, of course. The last one that just came out, the last one, I watched part of it. I took it off because I didn't, I didn't want to, uh, like, uh, you know, I wanted to just be surprised when I watch it. So definitely can't wait to check it out. Um... What if you like Rock Director Pop People? That'd be kind of cool. Um, that and a side of Pimp Coke Slaw. <laughs> Halloween Kills, the first uh, Fluffy Gamer. When you're going to make a cameo in our Hood Drink series. Yeah, Fluffy Gamer should you should come over to, for, for a, a cameo for our ghetto alcohol. Um, I think he's usually working on the weekends, I believe. Um, but I don't know. I, th I think so. That is, I think so. So if it depends on what day um, we do it, then he might come over. He might come by and drink uh, some St. Ides, because I'm definitely going to get some St. Ides. So that, that's a great, good hood beer. Um, man, it makes you, when you drink that, you feel like you just want to, like, like, you like, yo, what's up, you know? So I like it. Um, how much does it rent for a one bedroom where I live? Um... I pay like fourteen hundred a month where I'm at. I pay four, fourteen bills, fourteen. I'm retired now, dude. We retire, bro. Shoot, bro. Man, man, Daddy Warbucks right here. Holy crap, dude. Fluffy, man. That your sister retired. Let's pick me up. I'll give you some gas money. Let's go to Vegas, but pick up the OGP. And we'll go party, dude. Let's go party. Let's do it. Let's party in Vegas. The pre-birthday birthday starts tonight man let's do it <laughs> imagine that'd be that'd be insane that'd be insane dude we went to vegas right now it could happen but man we both feel like crap you pay that much for your mortgage i know that that's crazy cool i know i wish i've had like a i don't know like a little bit more i could, I could pay mortgage money it's like damn dude so maybe i'll get one like a, a mortgage hopefully someday um they get another 20 buck bomb right here from my man p p nasty uh thank you bro you go you going going out out right now uh, Ferret is bodacious and makes my soul feel like it's been hit with a basket of tangerines. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Ferret is awesome, bodacious. Always looks good on Instagram. Wears sexy stockings and looks good from head to toe. Because she actually has, uh, she has cute toes. Just saying it. They're, you know, they're, they're good. They're good. Uh, eBay is killing it. Making it a 4K a month. Holy crap, dude. Uh, and sales, no need to lift. Look at that, dude. Fluffy Gamer is making 4K a month in eBay. Look at that. You're going crazy with eBay right now, bro. That's awesome, bro. That is rad. I had no idea. You're doing uh, eBay all full time now. That's crazy. Um, P.O. Box. Actually, I know I got to get a P.O. Box. I can see what you guys might send my way. Like, I'll be kind of scary, too, to see what happens, but it'll be kind of neat, too. Uh, fl fluff money up in this biash. Yeah, fl fl fluffy money. That's not a fluffy game. We call it fl fluff money. Fluffy, yeah, fluff money. Cause it's like the the money is like it says you get stacks of money, so it's fluffy and good. So you're just like, boom, fluffy money. <laughs> That's good though. Hell yeah, dude. Is it mostly movies you've been selling on eBay or like I don't even know like other stuff. Um, Pierre, literally, I spit out my water all over when you read your comments on the super chat. 
Fluff on Fluff Them Snacks. Blaze it to ya. Uh, Josh Wright, have you ever, ever seen Bu uh, Beavis and Butthead uh, episode Nosebleed? I don't think I, I probably have, but I don't know. And yeah, 90% movies, that's crazy, dude. 90% movies, holy crap, man. That's nuts. That's a lot of movies uh, sales, that's crazy. It's like Fluff's paying for beer, he's paying for beer. Shoot, maybe I'll be selling part-time on eBay just selling movies. You know, who knows? I know VHS has been going crazy on uh, movies. My man, uh, Mark, he sold Street Fighter on VHS. Uh, the John claude Van Damme movie, he sold it like uh, two weeks ago for almost $600. I was a bid for it. 600 bucks for a VHS of Street Fighter. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Who would have thought that would even go for 20 bucks? But it went to 600. I'm like, dude, that's amazing. Which is like, wow. So, yeah, dude, that, that's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, you can't find VHS tapes anywhere these days. That's crazy. VHS VHS is going nuts, dude. Yeah, it's like, yeah, dude. Like, I, I guess it's it's crazy, man. Like, I got the uh, Friday the 13th Gatefold. That sold for, like, uh, yeah, the Van Damme Street Fighter. Uh, sealed, it had a sealed copy of it, brand new, sealed up. Which I thought would go for, like, I don't know, maybe $10, 20 I don't know, tops. Uh, went for $600, um, the final bid. So, yeah, it's it's nuts, dude. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, like I said, I got a VHS of Friday the 13th. Um... Gatefold one is rare. That sold for fourteen hundred dollars um, a month ago. I didn't sell it, but some one the one I have similar, uh, yeah, sold for that fourteen hundred dollars. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I think it's the people that do those gradings on VHS that they do like the like the Beckett gradings on VHS tapes. I don't know. Like that's making the market go crazy, and so people maybe because it's, it's a video game movie, so. So you get the video game audience that might want to have it on display. And you get the VHS, like these newbie types are collecting it to kind of get it graded. So they're buying these tapes and it's like crazy, you know? So it's like nuts. Um, my man Pierre with a five buck chat right up here going crazy with it tonight. I miss frying, uh, frying at electronic store. I mean, fried electronics. <laughs> it could be both. You can fry at fries. That'd be tripped out because all the electronics and crap, that'd be a good place to fry at. And you get video games too. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, hey, what's up, man? What movie won? What's up? I know you got here late, bro. Uh, but it's cool. I did a little uh, show on some of this earlier. Um, it's only a half hour long. I showed that on the TV. They're now just chilling here. We got people in the room right now drinking a beer. You know, we're, we're, we're hanging out and chilling, dude going crazy with it right now uh do you remember the cartoons my pet monster or bump of the night i don't remember uh bump of the night but i do remember uh yeah my pet monster i do remember that uh what do we got up here oh yeah uh, uh music and movies i have street fighter uh vhs but it's used how much would it go i get i don't know it all depends it all depends like you never know like it's just luck of the draw you can put up you can put on the bay and see what you get out of it who knows you might get a lot who knows? Um, my man, Five Buck Bomb here says, make it wet with wet movie one. Uh, if, if he was here, you know, it sounds like it might be kind of uh, gross to make Brendan wet. I don't, don't want to make him wet, but it, he can definitely get wet and we'll have a good time getting wet. It sounds very disturbing, but it could happen. It could happen. I'm going to buy that shirt, yes. <laughs> make wet movie one wet. Yeah, you should get a shirt that says make it wet with wet movie one. All right, make you wet. Wet all night long. Wet. Wet drip. Wet drip. Drip wet. Brendan, wet movie one, drip drip. Right up there. Uh, Friday Night VHS can sell for a lot. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Like the horror stuff and some random ones can sell for a lot. You never know. It's like luck of the draw. And you never know. It's crazy. Like, it's nuts, dude. Um, random question from Keep My Mind uh, Preoccupied. Uh, what happened to that cute little chick you had on a couple of videos before you started 
talking to D. You still talk to her. Oh yeah, her. Um, she's married now, so uh, you know we don't chill because she's married. So, um, but we're still like we're still friends in a sense. You know, we're still friends. Like you know, on Instagram, like hey, what's up? And give give a like, you know, and stuff like that. But it's like just you know, it's friends. So so it's it's uh, it's all good. But yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. But she was she was always cool and uh, she's still cool. She likes horror stuff. She's really into cool things. So yeah, she's still cool. Maybe. Maybe we'll do a video one day. I don't know. Who knows? It might be kind of weird, but you never know because you know she's with someone. But hey, you never know. Um, like a year. I think I don't know. I think a year ago or longer. I don't know exactly, but it was a while back. Um, ba 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 ba. All right, that's cool. Yeah, she yeah she was she was a very beautiful girl, and very cool and things of that nature. But yeah, we still we still uh, you know. We're still friends and stuff, you know, that kind of thing. Mostly it's, it's just do Instagram. I don't like, we don't hang out, you know, just, it's just like, hey, what's up? Like your photo, cool movies, like, you know, posts and stuff like that, you know, all that kind of stuff. I still get comments though from like, hey, uh, cool video. People still watch those old videos. So it's kind of cool. Uh, what's your favorite m multiverse? I don't even know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I just checked eBay, Street Fighter, Van Damme, VHS copy goes for 10. Yeah, I think I guess it was, but the brand new one goes for 600. <laughs> but if you see for 600 bucks, that's the one Mark sold. 600 bombs on that. That's like, whoa, dude. That's that's a, not a bad payday for a VHS. Music and movies, yes, LOL, man. LOL indeed. When are you going to f uh, film Smuggler's Cave? I don't know where it's even at. I'm trying to find the exact location. I've been wanting to go there for like three years now. But I don't even know where the exact, uh, co you know, the, the, the coordinates for it are. Like, I'm not sure exactly what area it's at. So, if, like, once I know where it's exactly where to go to, then I'll definitely do it. Um, but I'm wanting to go for a long time now. I just, I just don't know where it's at. I try to watch some videos of it, but I don't know... They don't exactly say where it is, so I don't know. Like, I, I gotta find someone that knows. If someone knows out there how to get there, let me know. DM me, and I'll I'll go there. Let me know if you know where Smuggler's Cave is at, and Sunset Cliffs here in San Diego, and do a video of it or something. I definitely want to check it out. Um, David W. I revisited Halloween too tonight. It's a great sequel holds up very well. I wish they kept the storyline of Lori Michael's sister. For the new films, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I really like Halloween 2, the original, um, if 81, that's, I, love, I love that one. And yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if they would have kept it in the storyline too, for the new one. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't do that, but it's still cool, but it would have been nice too. But I definitely like the original, Halloween 2 is amazing, it holds up great, I love that one. Uh, which did you dig more, Interstellar or The Martian? I like Interstellar more. It was to me, it was more just deeper. I like Interstellar. It's really good. Um, MK Productions. One of the creepiest videos of yours is when you showed this. We showed the Silver Pyramid. Yeah, that place is weird. The Silver Pyramid thing, up in the middle of nowhere in Akumba. That place. That place is creepy and weird. Very quiet out there, and like this a weird, um, weird vibe is over at that pyramid where I went to. So yeah, very. Uh, very scary. And now that, speaking of scary, I have, a, I have a video coming out tomorrow, which I edited tonight, uh, well, earlier, when uh, my little, my, I went to see James Dean, uh, his uh, spot, that uh, when I, went, I was going back home, I saw these abandoned, like, structures, like abandoned houses, like a congregation of them. There's like 10 to 15 different abandoned uh, structures in this area in the middle of nowhere in a farm area. So I, I drove by and I walked in. So I made a video of showing that. So look out for that tomorrow. I've shown this kind of a weird, creepy, strange, abandoned stuff with like pentagrams in the wall and like weird things and just old abandoned kind of, kind of stuff. So look out for that tomorrow around noon. Um, I'll have that video up. So it should be kind of, I think it should be kind of fun. I, I enjoyed it. And uh, some other stuff I did after that too, and the video also. But that, that's pretty much the main part of the video is going to this weird abandoned uh, like little community I, I found. So it was a little, it's a, just, just weird. I, had a, I saw it, I'm like, you know what? 
I did a U-turn. I gotta check this out. And yeah, I almost got attacked by wild bees. Uh, wasn't good, so that's in the video. Almost got attacked by wild bees, so kind of spooky. They didn't like me too much. <laughs> but um, uh, Deported Chinese na Nationalist, that's a great name. Uh, Danny, ever had any paranormal experiences? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, I was, and I told a story before, but I was in Old Town the, at the Willie House, the famous Willie House. One of the most haunted places in the country, if not the world. And I was just there with like a former uh, ex-girlfriend. We were there, it was like 10 years ago or whatever. It was a while back. And um, went to this, went, went to there, like in a, it wasn't during Halloween time, it was like April or something, like a random month. And you know, kind of Tuesday or Wednesday, we're like walking around there and not many people there. And we were, when, when we were like uh, talking to the, we're about, about to leave this place with the clothes up for the night. Uh, we're talking to the worker, the volunteer that works there, and they were like, hey, what happened here? Do you, do you guys experience stuff? And the person that worked there was saying, yeah, they experienced their hair getting pulled, uh, certain smells and getting poked, weird things like that she was explaining to us. It was about, they were the only ones there about to leave. And while that happened, um, through, the, through my uh, peripheral vision, I saw a gray orb about the size of a golf ball, like a fuzzy gray golf ball, like right about there, and it touched me on my nose. No, it touched me on my forehead. It touched me on my forehead, and then the ex-girlfriend touched her in the nose. But I felt felt like a fingertip, like poked me, like a, like a, like a, like a poke on my forehead when I saw that orb. It was like the I saw the orb when I saw that. I felt a fingertip right there. The girl I was with, it happened to her too, and it was very freaky and weird. It wasn't dust. It was something different. I don't know what it was. It was that, I think it was a a spirit or an orb. It was something very strange. Never had it happen again. But that was uh, definitely a strange thing, was that happened, like I said, over 10 years ago or so now. But uh, it was pretty cool, because it was like a, definitely a different thing. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Someone said bye. Yeah, see, uh, Mike C, I see you later, dude. Um, but I, did I see Malignant? David W, yes, I seen it. I thought it was pretty good, actually. I liked it, because it was a very strange movie. Because of the story of it, I, I was like, oh, crap. I, I didn't expect that was gonna happen in the movie, and it, and it was like, well, that was totally different. But it was cool, I liked it, it was pretty cool. And pretty good music in the movie, too. Uh, Market Productions, the, the car James E. drove is believed to be cursed. I would not want that. Yeah, I heard, I heard it was a cursed car, and the car went missing. No, no one knows what happened to the car now. Like, it was, I was doing like weird circus sideshows of the, the wreckage of the car, like this is the James E. car. And then it was on a circuit for that, and then it disappeared. I don't know, someone took it, it's somewhere. No one knows where it's at, though. It's weird. Um, but, yeah, it was cool being at the, at the James Dean, uh, you know, where he crashed at, where the area where he crashed at, and that memorial. It was just that presence. It was definitely a weird presence there. And uh, since it was right before, it was like, I went there the day before his anniversary of his death. On the 29th, I went there. So I get the, so I get the video up on the 30th. But it was, it was neat being there. Was, I always want to do it for a long, a long time now to take the road he went on. And it's, so I think some of, some of it changed up, but uh, to pretty much go in the same area where he went on where he crashed at. So that was really a, a neat experience that, uh, you know, to, to, to do. It was a long ride, though. It was like, it said over four hours for me to drive there. So it was definitely a long drive. That's why I'd never really done it before, because um, there's nothing really in the area. So I'm kind of putting it off. But it was, uh, it was cool to, to, to do, though. Yeah, they called it Little Bastard. Yeah, that was the name of his car, The Little Bastard. It was, like, written in the back. Little bastard. It was great to be there. That was cool to to do to do it. And it was neat because I did two videos the same day. Because I said on the way back, I saw these weird abandoned structures um, on the way back home from that area. So should be pretty cool for a fun little video. I think tomorrow. What am I gonna be for Halloween? Um, I don't even know yet. I I have no idea. Um, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. Is my mom coming up for Halloween? Yeah, my mom, yeah, my mom will be here for Halloween probably. More than likely, we'll do some stuff. You know, we'll hang out and maybe, maybe make a video with her. Maybe, be, maybe I'll be a pirate, right? I'll get the pirate beard, that kind of thing. Maybe I'll be Macho Man again. Um, shots with mom again. Yeah, I do shots with mom. Um, I'll get my mom dressed up or something. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll, do, we'll do something fun, you know, around the area. Maybe get maybe they'll, maybe they'll give out free beer for trick or treating. I should be James Dean. I'll be uh, <laughs> I'll be James Dean with a beard. I'll be like, 
Like the look at Jim, he's like, he's like with the, the squ- he has like the, the squinty eyes, and he's like, like that, you know. Uh, but I have, to, I have to shave the beard off, though, when you know. <laughs> Show a close-up with the hand on my shirt. I don't know, like, I can't really see that much of it. But, yeah, right there. Be Joe Dirt. Yeah, there you go. With, like, a, got like a mullet or something. I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I'll dress up as something, though. I'll definitely dress up as something. If you got any ideas, just definitely let me know um, th- throughout the next couple of weeks what you think I should be for Halloween. Um, AD, ADTR Breakdown. Uh, what's I uh, getting uh, Halloween 4Ks from Scream Factory? I didn't order those, um, but I'll probably get them. Like I'll just buy them at at the store. I get that. I get the Blu-ray set from Scream Factory. I still haven't even opened that one up yet, so I'm, I'm pretty I'm good on them. I don't I really don't need them, but um, maybe I'll, uh, I'll I'll probably buy like the first two. Um, I think they're, they're available now. They come out of, you know officially I think Tuesday, but they're Best Buy released them early this past Tuesday. The original release date, so um, I'll probably just buy them at Best Buy because it's one of those movies you always gotta buy. You know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> well that's cool. That's cool. You pre-ordered them. Now, the pre-order looked pretty cool because it came with that record, I think, and or a poster or something. So it looked kind of neat. But I really like the cover art for it. The cover, the new cover art for it, I really don't care for. I like the original artwork for them or the, the original Screen Factory artworks for them. The new one looks a little kind of weird, I don't know, in my opinion, but um, the movies will be cool on 4K. It'd be cool to have it on 4K, so. I'll probably at least get the first two, maybe three of them. I don't, I don't really don't need part five in 4K. I really don't need that. Maybe, I don't really don't need part four. One, two, and three in 4K would be kind of cool. Uh, maybe, you know. But I got them on Blu-ray, so I'll, I'll be, I'll be, we'll, we'll see, though. Um, David W., Danny, looking forward to selling an upcoming horror film, The uh, Lamb. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks very strange. Yeah, it does look very strange. They they always take chances. Yeah, A twenty four is a great company. That they put out a lot of good stuff. Um, have you gotten or heard of the Star Trek first uh, four films four K release? I've not. I got them on. Well, I got them on. Um, yeah, I got them on four K. Yeah, I got them on four K. I got the Star Trek ones on four K. I got those already in a box set. I got the uh, there's it comes with Blu rays and four Ks of the first Star Trek films. So I got those already. On um, on 4K from uh, review copies, I already got those. Um, I, uh, I've never seen any of the modern Star Trek movies. Would you recommend I go for it? Um, if you if you yes and no, like you, 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 there, if you like the Star Trek franchise, the old movie, like the old series, you'll probably you'll definitely like the movies, but they're not really for everyone. Uh, but but they're they're cool though. They are cool. So I would say if you're into like sci-fi and stuff like that, if you like Star Trek, I would say definitely get them on 4K. They look really good. But they're not really like a broader, they're not, they're not, they're not like Star Wars, where Star Wars is more a broader audience. It's like, oh yeah, you know, Star Trek, some people like it, some people don't. But they're good though. They're really cool. The first, the first four ones are cool. Um, I really like part two a lot. I like part four also. But uh, but yeah, you know, they can't go on with Star Trek. We were a fan of that stuff. Definitely, I would say pick it up for sure. Look, look, look really good on 4K. Yeah, part five is pretty crap. <laughs> do, you, do, do I still talk to Luna? Uh, keep my mind preoccupied. I haven't talked to her in a while. Um, I don't think she's married or nothing like that. I just haven't talked to her in a while. Um, do I think Ron Jeremy did did what he did? He probably did, Ron Jeremy. Um, am I going to see Halloween Kills in the theaters? Yes, I'll see it in the theater. Definitely see it in the theater. Um... I will watch it when it comes out, and uh, definitely watch it on Peacock too, because I do have Peacock on uh, NBC, so I'll definitely watch both of them. So it'd be cool. And I'm going to a bachelor party that weekend. So I have to wait until the following Monday. Okay, cool, man. Hey, have fun at the bachelor party, dude. That should be rad. I'll definitely watch in the theater at least one time, and then uh, the rest of the time probably on TV. Uh, the rest of the trilogy is hilarious. All of those flicks, yeah, they are good. Watch Dr. Death, very well done series. Okay, I never, I don't think I've seen those ones, Dr. Death. I'll definitely have to check those out. So what are you guys doing for, uh, any, any guys, any guys for, for, for Halloween time? Are you guys all um, doing stuff like watching traditional movies? Are you guys going to dress up for Halloween? What kind of things you guys might do? Um, are you guys' house, house decorated for Halloween right now too? 
Elmin ends will be interesting when that is released. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that's even going to be about, but uh, will definitely be interesting to see when that comes out. That's going to be pretty, like, what the heck. But I'm definitely pumped up for Halloween Kills. I, I can't wait. Um, we're, like, two weeks away. Less than two weeks away, dude. But, yeah, two weeks from now, Halloween Kills. How cool is that? Coming up a year behind since all this stuff happened with the world. It's been a, it's supposed to come out last year. Got delayed a whole year, and it's finally gonna come out. Like, um, it's so cool. Can't can't wait, and definitely excited about it. It's like yes. I'm trying, I'm trying to get too hyped on it right now. It's just like Christmas. You can if you get too hyped now, it's gonna feel like forever. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of just like keeping it, keeping it cool, hyped up, but keeping it cool until the until the day before, and I'd be like, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely watching the theater and watch it. You know. At home. Uh, sir, oh, I'm going to go as Count Pimpula. Halloween, maybe we should film part five dressed up, dude. Yeah, dude, that's a good idea, man. Dude, that is a very good idea, Pierre. Since it's Halloween, we should be dressed up and do our drinking. That's a, dude, genius. Dude, there you go, bro. Right up here. I don't know what the heck. I saw someone calling me and uh, all that crap. So, yeah. It was just weird. <laughs> Having to know what happened. Very strange. You gotta love the shitty internets. <laughs> We're back now. We are back. We are back, dude. I'm back. He's alive. Yeah, someone called me, and I... Oh, God, so annoying. I'm like, God damn, dude. Don't call me. Text me. No, no one calls the fucking phone anymore. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't have airplane mode on, so I'm like, God damn, the fucking thing froze. Like, shit. <laughs> um, Sir O had me refreshing my screen like it was toothpaste. Going, yeah, dude. I was, like, stuck. I'm like, why is my thing frozen up? Pissed me the hell off. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, God damn. I felt like a dickhead. And, like, it just, like, for, like, two minutes, it was just, like, gone. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Ugh. Horrible. But yeah, dude, to get back to your thing, P, uh, P that'd be cool if we, if we dress up um, and drew the drink in while dressed up. That'd be kind of funny if we were able to do that. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a funny thing. Um, so yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty dope. I'm not sure what should be it, though. Probably just, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out something cool. Maybe it said Macho Man. Or if not, I don't, know, I don't even know, maybe makeup on. It's hard to do makeup because I got, I got a partial beard. You know, they got the beard. So you can do some makeup, but it's kind of hard. Or maybe I'll be Count Stockula. I could be Count Stockula. You know, like my man's Count uh, uh, Pimpula. You know, so we'll all be Dracula pimps. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do miss Randy Savage in real life. Yes, I do, I do miss him. Uh, so I'm drinking a Mickey's 24 ounce right now, dude. Spanish is drinking a, a freaking old school Mickey's, which is good. Mickey's is good. Ooh, gotta love some Mickey's. Mickey's is good. I, I don't mind that one. For a malt liquor, it tastes good. Oh yeah, almost done with that beer. We're almost, we're almost done with the beer. The minute hour is going for hundreds. I know, it's, out, it's, it's crazy. The, um, the DVD of that thing is for a lot of money. I'm not sure. I think the VHS is cheaper. I, I don't know what that really goes for the VHS anymore of it, but maybe it goes for a lot more now too. I don't know, but I know the DVD um, from Anchor Bay was uh, pretty pricey. So yeah, I thought I dropped out. I'm on the East Coast. We got the time change. No, no, just someone called me and it interfered with my internet and it was like, it was like frozen. So I went to like, I was like, what the heck is going on? And then I like, had to go to my thing. So it was, just, it was just, it was so annoying. It was like, it was like, oh my God, dude. I was like, what the heck, you know? Because I didn't have airplane mode. I forgot to have airplane mode. So I'm using my phone to do this. So I should have had air. I should have had airplane mode on there so they can't call. You know what I mean? But oh well. So yeah, <laughs> it happens. It happens. It's okay. I was just like, Ugh. I was like, what the heck's going on? I'm stuck now. I'm like, holy crap. But it worked out now. We're good. <laughs> it's one of those technical difficulties. I was like, oh my god, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's almost been 90 going on 90 minutes here 
half of you guys left because you thought I ended the stream. So we got 47 strong in here. Let's get those thumbs up going. It's got a nice 69 on there. 69 thumbs ups. Uh, Space Dust IPA is a great one. I love me some, I love me some Space Dust. That's like from um, Eliason. I think it's called Eliason. Great one. Can you uh, react to the Lassophobia image? I have no idea what that even is. Uh, do I watch AEW? I watch it sometimes. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. They're, do, they're doing good, man. They're, they're doing good. Definitely doing good with the, with the dudes, with the, the CM Punk and uh, Daniel Bryanson. Kenneth Ramon, what's up, dude? Happy spooky season. What's up? What's up, man? Spooky season. We got Halloween. We got a spooky VHS I showed earlier in the video in this live stream. So I show this. It's only 25 minutes long, so it's not too long. I show it on the TV with the lights down to keep it kind of fun, to keep it flavorful and Halloween goodness. I did not see Tomorrow's War, but it looks kind of good, though. How was it? Was it pretty good? Was it complete crap? I don't know. Was it pretty good? I'm going to get one more drink. I'm going to get one more drink. Be right back. Be right back after this, folks. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Boom. I'll be right back. I'm going to get like a... I'm going to get a... Happy Dad. Happy Dad, baby. I'm going to do a Happy Dad. You know what I'm saying? So... Let's go with the Happy Dad. With the, the probably the worst flavor they got. You know, the worst flavor, which is watermelon. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, what do we got here? Uh, Sir Oat. Let's uh, let hit up VHS Fluff. Money and Wet. Them Chi Chi's Movie 1. And see if they can do a part 5. Um, if, they're, if they're able to, yeah, I mean, that, that'd be cool. If they're all able to do a part 5... I'm pretty sick. I'm pretty sick. We'll have to try to coordinate it. Um, but we'll see. You should get an old CRT if you're watching old VHS movies for nostalgia. I know. I should get one. It is too damn heavy to lift up. We got another five buck bomb here from m m m Reviewer 2. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Dad. Right up here. And the review for this video almost has 57,000 views. For my review on that one, Happy Dad. You know, so it's kind of cool. The Nelk Boys, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude, Happy Dad. You know, we should be do, you know, you know, Pierre, you know what we got to do, Pierre? We, we got to go to Las Vegas, Pierre. We got to go to dude, Vegas. Imagine imagine us in Vegas, dude. That would be out of, this, out of this world badass. Us in Vegas, dude. We got we to do Vegas. My birthday, or around that birthday, me, you, OGP, Puppy Gamer. What movie one? What you know? Whomever in Las Vegas, dude, for like two days, like a quick two-day trip. Come back in the third day. That'll be killer, bro. So hopefully that'll happen. But yeah, cheers to all you peeps out there, keeping it real, keeping keep keeping me company. I love you all, and uh, thank you so much. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. See, this is like uh, it's almost like water, so it's not bad. Refreshing. That'd be so crazy if we're out in Vegas. Oh my god, it'd be amazing. The Spanish Conquistador, yes, Vegas is cool. You're in Vegas, you're in Vegas, Eric Patterson. That's cool. We should all party, dude. Yeah, I love to go like I love going to downtown Fremont Street, Vegas. Going over there and like just getting crazy. Uh, having a good time. Drink drinking around, hitting up the pepper mill. Cheap tiki, like 1970s style lounge. Every up here. Have you ever been to the Pepper Mill in Vegas? It's like it's like a little lounge. They got like fire pits in the water, and it's like really big tiki like tacky drinks. So it's like very like um, 1970s looking inside. It's all darkly lit with like neon lights in there. It's really cool. It's like it's like Scarface meets Miami Vice meets 70s Studio 54 in one. It's really cool. It's right across from Circus Circus. But it's a good little spot to drink at uh, over there. It's really, I, li I like it. It's a cool hidden gem, I think. Yeah, Pepper Mill, yeah, Eric, yeah, Pepper Mill's bomb. They got good drinks. Um, they have a good happy hour there, too. And they get, they get it's, it's, it's just fun. It's a good place to, like, go there. You can, like, drink there first. Then from there, you kind of hit up all the, I'm going to go to the Hoffenbrauhaus, the German beer house. Get a big-ass boot of beer. 
get slapped by a hot blonde woman um, and stuff like that. So it'd be great. Five bucks or out? I know, but five buck bomb again. My man Pierre is going crazy tonight. Holy crap. I'm show, show man Pierre some love. Put up the horns and put up a beer. Put up, put up, put up a beer sign. Put the drink sign in for my man Pierre going crazy tonight. Um, no, but once befriend a hooker named Pepper Tree Lee. She was legit. That's a good name. Pepper Tree Lee. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, can, I, can I act to, uh, can you react strangely to familiar places? Sometimes I can act strangely, but I try not to. Uh, Don Vito, are you going to uh, go to any haunted house type stuff to film for Halloween? Yes, I will. Um, is that the place with Olympia Beer, Jay Watterson 69? No, that place was ooh, the Double Down Saloon. The Double Down Saloon was the place of the ass juice and the Olympia Beer but they got no Olympia beer anymore. They got no more Olympia beer. And Danny's getting drunk. This kid get out of control again. I'm not gonna get drunk. This is I had just my, my my second and last drink. I am good after this. I'm not gonna drink anymore after this. This is my last one right here. I have a, a small buzz. I'm good. I'm good. I'm totally good. Um, yeah, Pierre's the man, dude. Uh, Hollywood Horror Nights or something. I might go there. I might I might check it out. It's up in the air still. Uh, go to the Wax Museum in Vegas. I've never been to that one. That'd be kind of cool. AMC Fear Fest is good this year. Yeah, it's definitely good. Um, Farrah Lawrence, we got the $5 bomb, four nine nine five buck bomb from the beautiful Farrah Lawrence. Show her some love with them drink emojis and say, yeah, Farrah, you're hot. Go like that, you know? That's what you do. Bam, right there. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. It's Friday. We're getting drinks. We're chilling. Watching VHS in a 4K. Boom. And hanging out and doing them things, man. That's what we're doing right here. And it's like, what time is it? I don't even know. Like 9 o'clock? Maybe. Maybe 8.30. I don't even know. West Coast time. I have no idea what time it is. I can't see my clock from this area. It's over there. I can't really see it. But it's over there. <laughs> it's probably like 9, right? I don't know. My time. But, uh, but yeah. We gotta go over to my area. I gotta go to some. I got. I got a, I got a cool bar down the street. I, mean, be, be, I would. I would love to go, take, go. Go with this live. Walk around outside. Go to the bar and just drink while I'm going live. I'm not gonna do it though. But that'd be dope as hell. Uh, Farrah Lawrence, Danny, and I would totally hang out. But I'm in Arizona and he's in California. Yeah, we're very far. <laughs> we're very far. We're kind of, we're, we're a little bit, a few hundred miles away. Probably, no, we're like 500 miles away, I think. I, I don't know. Something like that. But we're, it's a little, a little bit of a, of a quick, you know, it's not, not, I mean, a little bit of a long venture to do it. But someday it'll happen. Someday we'll, we'll definitely, ch we'll all chill with drinks and just hanging out or just moving you know, on movies. We'll do movies. And, uh, you know, we're good, you know, we're good. So we had six, 69 people here. I'm at 65 thumbs up. Let's, let's do four more thumbs ups. And we'll have a 69, 69, a dose 69. I mean, you can't get on two 69s. Oh, we got 68 now. Shit. I ruined, I, I don't have to do it now. I, I cursed, I cursed it. I cursed it. Now we're down to 67. No one liked me to do that. Nobody wanted me to, no, nobody liked that idea, I don't think. So it, it got ruined. We're almost there though. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, uh, Don Vito, Fair, do you know you have the same names? A famous person from TV's Teen Mom. Yeah, the, oh, the Farrah, yeah, the same name as Farrah. And a Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. Uh, and, um, Indrid Gold, Savannah, Georgia here. Um, yes, so we have, we're at 6868 right now. So it's a 6868. <laughs> a lot of people left earlier. We're like, we're like, we're like over a hundred earlier, but everyone left because my my damn stream got cut out. So now we're at sixty. We're at sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine, ninety nine minutes in. Dude, it's all nines. We got a lot of nines right there. Nine nine minutes in, and we're, 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 we're the flavor is going good right now. The flavor is, it's good. It's good flavor. God damn. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> and my alien does not drink. He just sits there. Um, 
She was the most hated cast member. Yes, yes, she was. Yes, yeah. I used to I used to watch Teen Mom uh, back when. It's on Pluto TV. Old episodes. Uh, bro, love the T-shirt. K Doug, uh, thank you. I got this at Walmart last year for eight bucks. I got I got the other Halloween one, the purple one this year. So I'm very happy about that. It's very good. I gotta love the six nine flavor. I I, I love the six nine flavor. I I. I a giver and a taker when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Why well, have, uh, you know, that's what, that's what it's about. <laughs> the Sinus Stalker is a, a dirty boy, but, but a good boy. Uh, Sero, five bucks right here. Hell yeah, I do. Five people have never Sinus Stalked. This is for them. People, five people have never sent a stock this is for them. Yes, that's for the homies. That's for the five people out there that have, that have not sent a stock the talk. And that goes out for them, the homies. <laughs> uh, Team Mom sucks. Yeah, it kind of does. Uh, did you meet any bridesmaids at Rat Tales? Well, yeah, I did not. They were all, they all had, uh, they all had boyfriends, unfortunately. There was this one, there's a couple of cute ones over there I liked. But unfortunately... Their dudes were there, and I, I, I just, it, 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 that cock blocked me, and I was like, God, I was like, shit. But yeah, it happens. So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it happens. Uh, just finished watching Suicide Squad. I liked it. That's cool, man. Um, Josh Ryan, I'm sure she did. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. So so what so what so so I was bur I burped right there. I'm sorry about that. That was very gross. Uh, I'm very sorry. But uh, man, Sir O Pierre, what what day you coming by next week? And how long will we be in town? How long will we be in town so that we can coordinate the hangout? And next Saturday, me and uh, Rat Tail we're gonna go to this weird alien uh, cult congregation. If you want to come along, you could. And El Cajon, where there's like uh, uh, called your uh, your Uranus, Uranus, your anus, but Uranus, alien, uh, religious, whatever from the seventies, and there's like a, a thing going on there. There's like a UFO lowrider. I there's gonna be trumpeteers, and there's going to be a d white doves being flown out of a UFO lowrider spaceship, which I hope to God I get to see that I can get it on video. That would be just weird as hell. But that, that's next Saturday in uh, El Cajon here in San Diego. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? You get trumpeteers. Trumpeteers. People that do trumpets with aliens in a futuristic crystallized uh, city with Tesla electronics and odd stuff. And I gotta, we gotta record it, man. I, I gotta document this for you guys, not get brainwashed, hopefully, in the, in, the, in, the, in the process, me and Mark. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. And across the street from this place, they have a really good brewery, which I've been to in the video like last week, uh, Creative Creature Brewery, really good beer, but yeah, I mean, it's at noon. I think we're gonna go there at noon or whatever. I'm not sure on the next Saturday though. It's, it's, we'll, we'll figure out a time. And we got we gotta I, I got I gotta I gotta get those doves flying out of a dove, out of a out of a UFO spaceship made of like cardboard and metal. That'd be amazing. So yeah. It's very much like Heaven's Gate. It's a, it has a Heaven's Gate kind of vibe. So I mean that's kind of cool and weird, and it kind of goes with Halloween, right? It's like creepy, strange. It goes with the Halloween month, I think. And, I mean, shit, no one else is doing it. I might as well do it. I don't know, you know, what the heck, right? Um, now, that would be the ultimate scary movie worthy of a review, sir. Yes, yes it, would. yes, it would be. Yes, it would be. Cobra Kai Season 4. We've seen Pig with Nicolas Cage. I've not seen Pig. I've not seen Pig. Sixty nine, sixty nine, baby. Sixty nine, sixty nine, man. Good stuff, and it's like that. 
404 minutes, and that's what we're doing. Uh, right now, I'm watching Annabelle Creation. Very cool. I don't think I've seen that one. I might, I might have. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Jonestown Part 3. Yeah, don't drink the Kool-Aid. We will not drink the Kool-Aid when we're there. Uh, you got the 90s. Um, let me see. Uh, Sefer Ayman says, you got the 90s. Grew up in San Diego. Lingo down pat. That's an awesome trip to watch a fellow San Diegan I never met before. Yes. Me and my man, Sir Oat Pierre, are from San Diego. Grew up in like Spring Valley and other areas, National City in San Diego. And we got it down packed here. Remember, remember back, is it, is it, I'm going to throw an old school saying for all you 90s cats and kittens out there. Remember, remember the term scamming? It's, it's got, uh, uh, man, I'm, I'm going to go scam with that girl. I scammed with her. We scammed, which is French kissing. But scamming. Remember that, remember that old term, scam? Yeah, man, I just scammed. I just, I just scammed. I just scammed her. She was kind of good, you know. Like, remember that? I was just throwing it out there. If you guys remember that word, scam, scamming, you know, use this. Let's bring it back. Scamming, dude. Bring it back. Uh, Michael Zeko, hey, Danny, you got some. Uh, you got you some forties tonight to chill out. I got no forties, dude. I'm drinking a hard, happy dad hard seltzer right now. And I had a, uh, earlier I had a hazy stone IPA, which is uh, was very good. Very good beer. Uh, very tasty. Sir Oat, uh, five bucks. San Diego up in this piece. Yes, San Diego. West Coast, like, you know, West Coast. <laughs> San Diego, dude. And that's what we do. A Sefer Amen grew up in Mira Mesa and went to Scripps Ranch. Y'all scammed, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, scam, dude. Scammed, bro. Scamming, dude. Remember scamming? Like, yeah, we gotta, I scammed that girl. We scamming. But yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, cake, caked up. Like, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's an old school ter term, too. But yeah, dude, scam. Remember scamming was kind of big in the 90s. That, that, that term, I think. I'm pretty sure. A lot of scamming. It's, I, 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 like this, I like the scam. It's, it's, it's very nice. But, <laughs> but uh, Hex laughed my ass off. Yes. Bringing it back, folks. The Mecca, a.k.a. Mira Mesa, dude. Yeah, dude. Mira Mesa. Speaking of Mecca, re remember Mecca Jeans? Remember that company, Mecca? Mecca Jeans? Or Jenko Jeans? Yeah, dude. Mira, Mira, I, love, I love Mira Mesa. I go, I go there all the time. Uh, Mira Mesa. It's always it's pretty cool around there. Uh, my, my two ex-girlfriends, Mira Mesa. So, yeah. So, I'm always in Mira Mesa for some damn reason. I'm, I scanned many abroad back in the 90s. There you go. Keep my mind preoccupied. Yes. Oh, yes. Wasn't Bill and Ted's film in San Diego? Um, I don't know if it has. I don't know if it has. Me and Amanda scammed me behind Kmart in Sprung Valley. Yes. <laughs> Sir, oh, Yes. You and Amanda, dude. Oh, my God. The old, the old Kmart in Spring Valley, bro. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, oh my God. The days, dude. La Presa Middle School. Well, Ruben. Oh, shoot, man. Luis. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Those, those were the days. The days. Oh, my God, man. Fishing for alcohol, like, you know, at, at liquor stores back in the day, like in the 40s, we'd be fishing for beer, like, at, like you know, teenagers, like 16 years old and stuff. Oh, my God, dude. It's fun, though. Yeah, I think Chabot, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Do you still give out, uh, do you still give out business cards to ladies? <laughs> you know, do you know? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do the, the business card thing anymore, dude. I don't, I don't do that. That was in high school. I don't do that. I don't do that anymore, though. That was so cheesy. Make sure, ladies, call me before midnight because I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Suffer Amir, yep. Mecca jeans, Mir Mesa Mall, uh, Newberries, Soul Complex, baseball card shop. I think, yeah, dude. Oh my god, remember that shit? I used to go. To, I used to go to the store all the time called Party Crew. I think it was called Party Crew. I would get like these like imitation Janko jeans there sometimes. It was like ISA jeans. It was like weird. Yeah, yeah, Luis, dude. I remember, yeah, the uh, uh, lows I remember. Yeah, dude. Oh my God, all them. 
Bobby, all them people. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I wore a FUBU, I had a couple of FUBU t-shirts uh, back in the day. I think, I think I kept one as a souvenir, like a FUBU um, freaking like NFL jersey. I thought it was like cool. I still get my shiny jean suit uh, wardrobe from 2000. It looked like a boy band member reject. Silver tab jeans. And I got my shiny jean suit, you know, jacket. And I got my friggin' pants, baggy pants. Boom, FUBU, Funny Bunnies. Fat Farm uh, was, was dope. Fat Farm, kind of a farm, Fat Farm. Good stuff, man. Paco jeans. Oh, taking it back. Paco jeans, dude. Oh, man, dude. I used to wear, like, also, like, really, like, shiny shirts. I wore, like, silk shirts. I thought it was cool. Um, I wore, like, bright fluorescent color Adidas shirts sometimes. I would wear, like, um, what else would I would wear? Like, not Ocean Bay, but I would, like, I would wear like, some, some, some U Union Bay. I'd wear some Union Bay shirts. Union Bay shiny shirts, like, blue, shiny Union Bay stuff with baggy pants, extra baggy, you know, uh, anchor, bla anchor blue jeans. Remember anchor blue? Anchor blue jeans from Miller's Outpost at the anchor blue line. I would get that also. South Pole was, yeah, South Pole was dope. Oh my God, South Pole, South Pole jeans, cheesy, but I used, to, I used to rock some South Pole. Bugle Boys in elementary school for sure. Echo was dope. Uh, button up, yeah, button up fly jeans. Oh my god, we're going way back, dude. We're going way back, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, tap out. I, I, I never wore a tap out shirt. I never wore a tap out shirt. But I used to wear, I still have a, I think I have a couple of them. I would wear, an, I used to wear Affliction t shirt. Remember Affliction? Like in 2004, I think it was. Affliction brand. I, I, I like I, I had like four affliction t-shirts. I thought it was like so cool with my like with my like uh, you know like the cross with the skull and stuck the big old thing like the kind of tribal look you know affliction. Oh yeah, I used nice to get that. The pop pipes. <laughs> Good yeah, J Janko. I, I used to have like Janko sh uh, jeans, like the shorts. I used to have like Janko shorts, really baggy, almost like high waters, you know shorts. But yeah, Affliction though. Yeah, Flick. I still have a couple of Affliction t-shirts. I, I kept them as souvenirs. Affliction. I'm going to rock that sometimes. Air, I say yeah, Airwalks. Did I say have Airwalk shoes? Oh yeah, I would, I would rock Airwalk shoes. Fila. Fila high tops. We can afford those. You get to get Pro Wings. Remember Pro Wings from uh, Payless Shoes? If you can afford Nikes or whatever, you get your Pro Wings. And I remember I rocked Pro Wings one time in elementary school. It was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, Pro Wings. Oh, my God. Velcro. Oh, crap, dude. Leave the affliction in retirement. <laughs> I can't rock that affliction, bro. Come on. I got to get that affliction, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Jenko was expensive. It was like 90, 80 bucks up or something like that. LA Gear. LA Gear was dope. Ed Hardy was uh, dope, too. Yeah, Spring Valley Swap Me, three, three, three for five buck packs, dude. Yes, yeah, let me some Spring Valley Swap Me, man. The Spring Valley Swap Me nachos were the best. Like, they still are good. I, I gotta go. Maybe I'll go there tomorrow. So good. We have Rock Aware. I never had much Rock Aware. My man, Sir Oates, five bucks right here says, I had a black and blue British Knights. Come at me. Yes, yes. British Knights. Do you bring it back with some British Knights? Oh, man. British Knights, dude. Woo, the dust. The dust came off that British Knights, dude. Those are dope. I would, I would, dude, I would so rock British Knights right now. That'd be sick as hell, with my LA gear and the. Uh, I had the um, was it the um, freaking um, LA uh, glue, you know, what gel? Remember the gel? Um, LA looks, LA looks, LA looks gel. I used to get my LA looks gel, like a big old like green or the, or the purple one. LA LA looks, the gel. Get my hair like really slick. And like spiky, I used, have like, I used to have like spiky hair. I used to like put highlights in my hair too. I used to, I used to put sun in in my hair, like a weirdo. I put sun in in my hair, so it was like orange. I don't know what the heck I was thinking of back in high school and like whatever with my gel <laughs> or ice spiker. 
Yeah, Pro Wings and Quicksilver, Rusty Ref, Billabong. Yeah, dude. Reebok. I never, I never had. Oh, I never had uh, Reebok pumps. OP shirts were dope. I love OP. It was like imitation surfer clothes. Volcom. I saw some Volcom shirts. Do you remember Vol? I used to wear a lot of Volcom, like 2004 and five. Like I still got my bright uh, fluorescent pink Volcom T-shirt. It's in the closet. When I was a cine douche over a year ago, I was like a douchey surfer like dude. So I wore, I wore my Volcom uh, T-shirt. Um, good stuff. Yeah, cheers to Farah. Five bucks for Farah. I think I, I missed your thing. Cheers, Farah. Cheers. Thank you for the five bucks. Yeah, Doc Martens were great. Uh, yeah, Billabong was awesome. Extreme hair. I used to get the extreme hair. I used to have like a, I used to, I used to have like my slick back hair. And then I would do like the spiker. I used to have like ice spiker. So my hair was like crispy with my Aspen cologne. And it's like go to school like that. Like, hey, what's up? Now I, I wear like a, like a silky imitation silk shirt with like uh, corduroy jeans. I thought it was like cool. I don't know. It was like strange. <laughs> Stussy shirts. Yeah, Stussy. Stussy was dope, dude, from Target, bro. I never had a mohawk. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bleaching hair was cool. So, uh, what y'all know about Anchor Blue, though? Anchor Blue, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, Anchor Blue, bro. I would love me some Anchor Blue baggy jeans, extra baggy. I would get the extra baggy uh, Anchor Blue jeans, dude. I got, I got some old pictures of me in high school. Wearing some baggy clothes. So maybe I'll post those sometime on my Instagram. Of me with some girl I used to like. I wear, I'm wearing like friggin' like imitation like Jenko jeans and a Union Bay blue silky imitation shirt made out of polyester. Oh my God, dude. I would wear that. Uh, skinny jeans. Yeah, skinny jeans. I, I, I rocked some skinny jeans for a little bit. I used to wear skinny jeans. Um, it's embarrassing. I, 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 would, I would wear skinny jeans with Converse shoes in like 2005 with my Affliction t-shirt or Volcom. <laughs> Anchor Blue used to be Miller's Outpost. Yeah, yeah, it used to be Miller's Outpost, man. I never heard of Duckhead. Yeah, bro, same here, yes. <laughs> cool Water, let me some Cool Water, bro. Cool Water, uh, Stetson, um, all that crap, you know. Um, Obs Obsession, I think one of them is. Uh, CK1, remember CK1? That, that, that was a really popular cologne back when. I got CK Shock, which is really good now. Um, a good tobacco scent fragrance cologne, but CK1 was like, you know, 90s or Tommy or Tommy Hilfiger cologne. Tommy Hilfiger. Everyone had Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger, bro. Oh, Tommy Hilfiger. Oh my God. Or Nautica, Nautica jeans, Nautica t-shirts. Nautica, dude, another good one. Brute, Dracar, yeah, Dracar. Yeah, Dracar, dude, get that, that crappy cologne, Dracar. I think everyone had a bottle of Dracar. <laughs> everyone had a bottle. The black bottle, Dracar, it smells very 80s, like you're like a, in the Scarface movie, but do a line of Coke. Uh, Old Navy, yeah, dude, Old Navy, bro, yes. Obsession is still good. Um, I used to wear Jupe, um, uh, Curve was another good cologne, Curve. Yeah, Ralph, Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, bro. I rock that. Dude, I got some Ralph Lauren right now in my closet, bro, from the 90s. I wore it in high school. I wore it way back when. I got some Ralph Lauren Polo um, light blue shirt. I still have it. I kept it for all these years. Ralph Polo Sport, bro, retro. It still looks good. You can still see the little logo right up here. Yeah, Van Heusen. <laughs> Polo is still in style. Yeah, Polo is still dope, dude. Polo Blue, bro. I'll, I'll bust out my I'll bust out my Polo real quick. I mean, I'll bust it out. I'll bust it out. I'll bust it out for you guys. I will bust it out, dude. I will bust. I got it right here. Look at that. Look at that, bro. <laughs> Look at this, bro. I kept this. I still have it, bro. Look at that. Ralph Lauren. 
Look at this right up here, bro. Look at that. I rocked this back in the day. I kept it, Ralph Polo Jeans, Ralph Lauren. Polo Jeans Company. Look at that, bro. Oh, bam. That's like a 25-year-old t-shirt. But I, uh, I kept it because it's cool. I kept it, man. I kept it. I kept that crap. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The 90s, anything is fire right now. Dracar sounds like the name of a <laughs> asthmatic vampire. Yeah, Dracar. It does sound like that, right? North Face, yeah, dude. Well, well, Polo, yeah, Polo Cologne's a good one too. North Face, I still wear it every. I, I still wear this every day. The light blue, I, I can rock this right now, dude. I, I would rock this right now, dude. I would so rock this. Like, this is still cool. Just you know, it's it's, it's it's still cool. Like, I kept it. I had to keep it. This is this is you know, I would, I would you know, I think I, I think I bought that at Ross uh, back when. I think I bought that at Ross. So yeah. Uh, DKNY Hugo, yeah, Hugo Ass, Hugo Boss. <laughs> the 90s is in style, dude. Ross is still around. Yeah, Ross is cool, man. The 90s can't go with some 90s flavor, dude. I used to wear the, as a kid, I used to wear the MC Hammer pants, the really baggy pants, the, like the Zuma pants. Rock that polo with a puka shell necklace. You ain't down. Oh, the yeah, the, the puka shells. I, I used to wear puka shells too. I would wear the friggin' white puka shells. The puka shells with the frosted tip hair. Oh yeah, I wear the puka shells. I used to have a little smiley face with a joint come out of it. I'd wear like some fake gold jewelry. It was great. It was great. With like a you know, I would, I would rock this with wearing some Dracar and thought it was dope. <laughs> The fashion I do did not age well. <laughs> did not age well, no. So it's kind of weird, yes. But the, but the polo, I, I don't think this, I, I think this is still okay. I, I think that's still pretty fire. I think it's still pretty fire right now to wear that. I think it's not bad. Uh, talk about baseball card shows in the 90s, the Irish Trade Center, Cowabunga, yes. Cowabunga, dude. But yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would tell, I'm totally going to rock that. Eric for the win, cross colors are out. Five buck bomb here. Five buck bomb, cross colors, dude. Yeah, cross colors. Cross colors. I have not heard that in like a million years. Cross colors. Cross colors. I mean, oh my God, dude. That's like back in the day, man. Oh my God, bro. That's, that's like... Dust is that? Uh, yeah, dust is coming off right now. Dust just came out my ass. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Cross colors, dude. That's amazing. Oh my god, dude. Casio watches and all that kind of crap. I, I love it. I love it, dude. I, lo I love the the '90s nostalgia. It's great. '80s too. Lacoste. Yeah, I wore some Lacoste uh, back in like early 2000s. I wore like Lacoste. I used to wear like my Lacoste. Like I used to flip up the. The little thing, you know, like I thought it was cool, like a douchebag. Some of the emo chicks at my school would wear those ha ha homemade beer can tab necklaces. Oh, yes, dude. Yeah, Joe Boxer. <laughs> oh, my crisscross backwards. I mean, we're going back in time, dude. Did I ever wear Michael Jordan's cologne? No, I never wore Michael Jordan's cologne. How is it? Is it, is it was it good? I, I, never, I never wore it. I never wore G-Shocks. Oh, my God, G-Shocks. G shocks. Tito said G socks. Wow, that's another old one, dude. Tito with G shocks. Oh my god, I've not heard that term. It's as old as cross colors. G shocks. Oh my god, dude. The terms are going good right now. They're going good. Oh my lord, man. Fossil still gets made fun of. It does, right? Fossil. Or Movado, remember a face? I used, to, I used to wear like a fake Movado watch I bought in Tijuana. I thought it was cool, but I would wear, I would wear that bastard. I would wear it. You ever throw a bunch of Dunkaroos while walking a dog or a yo-yo? Yeah, Dunkaroos, dude. Great Mac on some Dunkaroos or some Teddy Grahams and do a little yo-yoing, a little yo-yoing, and you're good. The Cinestyle, <laughs> the Cinestyle, yeah. That's what I wear now. That's what I wear now, folks. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna rock my polo blue, polo blue, baby. Gotta rock that sometime.
in a future video coming up with some acid wash jeans and we'll be set. Hey, those are great albums, dude. Sefer, those are some great classics, dude, with Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I remember those would get played on MTV music videos on rotation all the time. Yeah, Fruit Roll-Ups. Love me some Fruit Roll-Ups still. They're still good. The belts with the metal studs that always fall off. Yes, dude, I do, I do Tito. I wore, I had those metal belts. I thought it was cool. I would wear a metal studded belt. I thought I was a badass. I would wear that with my, with my, um, oh man, I got that with my, here's, here's, here's one right here that, that has not been said tonight. Lugs. Remember Lugs boots? Lugs? L-U-G-Z, I think it was. Lugs? I would rock me some steel toe lugs. Some lugs right there. Gotta love the lugs. Yeah, G, yeah, G how does one go about acquiring such an item? I, you gotta get some, dude. Some G-Shocks. You gotta get some G-Shocks. Yeah, lugs, dude. I'm gonna get my lugs with my Wilson leather jacket. and thought I was the freaking man, dude. I would, I would, I would have, I had, I had black lugs and I had those yellow lugs, like the, like, the, like the tan color lugs. And those were like, the, the, the light brown was like the dopest with like your baggy pants. And you're like, what's up, you know? Back in like 1997, 98. Yeah, lugs had a cool commercial. It was very urban. <laughs> it was like, you, you get your lugs and the St. Ives and you're, you are set, man. Fresh, yeah, fresh jive. We have fresh jive over here with a flip phone. Yeah, I, got, I still kept my flip phone. I kept my flip phone. I kept it. Um, exhibit wore lovely. Yeah, lugs were cool, man. Lugs and a Wilson leather jacket. Go to the Wilson leather store. Get like a hundred buck, hundred fifty buck jacket. Be the man. Pimping up, dude. Pimping it up. Oh man, got Pierre, Pierre right here. Twenty buck bomb from man. Y'all don't remember Squeeze It drinks. Dude, I remember Squeezes, bro. I remember them Squeeze. My man Pierre's going off the chain right now. And I, I do remember Squeeze It's. Get the little Squeeze It's like it was like Kool-Aid. It was like Kool-Aid. And you twist the top off and you squeeze it in your mouth and you squeeze it. Love me some Squeeze It's, man. Squeeze It's, squeeze it's were great. Uh, Nike was huge back when, yes. OG Razor phone. Yeah, dude, I, I still got my Razor phone, dude. I got my, I got my Razor still. I kept it because it's so cool. And I wish I could charge it and reopen it up and see my old pictures in there from old girls I would talk to and like old phone numbers and see what kind of text messages I had back when. And I, wonder, I wonder what I said, I don't even know. I wonder what I would say. It'd be very embarrassing. That'd be cool for a video where I uncover the horrors of my cell phone and see what's on that crap. That'd be kind of funny to see what's on there. <laughs> I should do it for a video. Like, if I, if I can charge those up to get the battery on and just, like, look at it and see what's inside there, if it's still on there, that'd be amazing. And the batteries never hold up. Okay, they probably never do, yeah. <laughs> but that'd be amazing. The BlackBerry phone. Yeah, dude, those phones are great. I used to, I used to, I, my, my very first company was Singular Wireless. It was Singular Wireless. It was my very first cell phone. The old Nokia phone. The Nokia phone with the cool case you can always at the mall. Remember the mall? You used to buy phone cases and you can like change different colors and whatever and things like that. So that's that's what I that's what I had. My very first phone back in like two thousand like two thousand one or two. I think I think my very first phone was like two thousand two or something. I think it was something like that. Around that around that the Nokia brick, yeah, the Nokia brick, dude. I still have it. I kept it. Kept the friggin' phone. I had to, I had to keep it. <laughs> Still got to do with it. It's like tech. You gotta pay for tech messages. There's like, you might get thirty text messages a month in your plan with singular wireless. Yeah, free calling after ten. <laughs> it was like stupid, so stupid. Yeah, Cool Water, Old English, Bone Thugs and Harmony was my '90s. Hell yeah, dude. That's a great stack right there. We should be up here. We do Pierre. We drink the beer. We should put some like Cool Water or cologne on. It'll be good. Uh, Ron Yule, have I watched Malignant? Yes, I have watched Malignant. It was it was pretty good. Had the razor in high school. We used to switch back and the, the colors. Yes, dude. Yes, free nights and we yeah, have free nights and weekends. Yes, dude. It was free nights and weekends. Yes, dude. Oh my god, I remember that. 
And yeah, texts were 25 cents and picture messages were 50 cents. Oh my God, man, they made some money back when. Oh my God. Imagine nowadays, 50 cents for a picture message and 25 cents for a friggin' text. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, Sero says, five bucks chat here with uh, my man Pierre's going crazy right now. It's amazing. Jesse mean pagers. Yeah, I had, to, I had one, a clear one with the blue button, dude. You had a, yeah, my man Pierre had a, he had a pager. I never had a pager. Never, I never had a pager. I never, I, never, I never was cool enough to have a pager. Uh, don't call after nine. Laugh my ass off. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I never had a pager, dude. You guys have one of the pager? Remember, remember the pager codes? Like, it would, like, do certain numbers, and it would, like, mean something on there. It was, like, a hat. It was, like, weird. But I never, I never, I see, you still use that. Axe is great. Axe is awesome. Uh, we need hoods reviews soon. Yes, we could, we could do the, the hood. The hood drinking soon will happen. Uh, Greek <laughs> pagers. Do, do people still use pagers now? Do people still use pagers? I don't think I don't think they do anymore. Maybe they do. I don't know. Um, I used to have two killer Chicago Bull jerseys back in the day. Yeah, dude. I remember, remember the jerseys too. I remember those jackets. Um, Star was it called Star? The big puffy NFL jackets back in the day. Starter, starter, ja yeah, starter, starter jackets, starter jackets. All the gang members wore Raiders starter jackets or 49ers. All the all the all the gangs would wear like the old school Nike shoes, the Chicano whatever I think that whatever the type that's just the Nike shoes with the starter jackets, the puffy jackets. Back in the day, the co-founder is twenty years old and happy. I don't know why. It's crazy. Yeah, pagers, Zima. Yeah, not emphasis. Yeah, starter jackets. Yes, starter jackets, dude. Those remember that crap. Those are the ones. The Cortez shoes, yes. Cortez shoes, yes. That was the one, not Chicano. Yeah, Cortez Nike shoes and starter jackets with some Dickies creased pants. And you might get shot. You might get shot at. Just saying, you might get shot at. Um, I, know, I, know, I, know, I need another drink. Should I, should, I, should, I, should I get another drink? Should I get one? Let me know if I should get another drink. This one's already done, pretty much. And I will continue the live stream. If you guys are having a good time, I will still stay here. I bet Sorry will make a comeback. Um, they probably will, yes. Uh, Yo Play Tricks Yogurt is the jam. Um, yeah, Nike Cortez. I, I never wore the Cortez shoes because I was afraid I might get shot at or robbed. So I never wore them. <laughs> yeah, Ben Davis pants. I used to have a Ben Davis jacket, though. I thought that was kind of dope. Um, can you give my friend Quentin Kangley a shout out? Yeah, uh, Brian, Quentin, uh, I messed up your name, Quentin Karen, uh, Karen Jella. What's up, uh, Quentin Karen Jella? Drink out to you on this Friday night, entering Saturday morning, but we're doing it strong right here. Boom. That's done right now. So I'm going to go in the fridge in a little bit. And I will grab a um, something to drink. No shots, though. No shots. I'm good on the shots. Uh, what horror films you got planned to watch? Any? Every one of them. Killer tapes. I'm gonna watch like um, the Midnight, Midnight Hour, Halloween series, um, Hollow Gate, um, The Worst Witch, and more. And I do remember the Halloween buckets at McDonald's. Those were dope. I used to have a couple of them. The ghost one. And the pumpkin one, they're gone now, but I used to have those, and I miss them dearly. I want to get them at a thrift store. I definitely want to. Uh, we're hanging with the OG Pimp Sinistocker. Yeah, Sinistocker. The only, the coolest live streams on the YouTubes are on this channel. At least I think they're kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. I th it might be kind of cool. Might be kind of good. What happened to Luna? I don't know. I think she's doing okay, but I don't know. Um, I got the black burger, and I pooped out uh, green crap. It was great. The Macho Man will get a drinky drink uh, right about Neil. And I'll be the last drink, the th trifecta. I have three drinks. I will get it right here. Uh, Quentin Carolina, Slap Life and Chi Chi's Homies. Homeboy, yeah, Chi Chi's Homeboys. Be right. Like this. Like that. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. It's 9.51 right now. 
Oh my, oh my. Oh my, baby. So we're gonna wear here. Go one more, uh, one more chill one. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh, can I get a hell yeah on the McRib? Yeah. There we go. Oh my. Yes, I'll do this the, the last drink of the night. This will be the last one. Because we've been on here for like an, uh, over two hours now. It's 9.51. So the last one of the night. Another Happy Dad because it's like chill. Uh, lemon lime now, which is a really good flavor. So it's like, you know. Something chill, and it's like, you know, good gift. Five percent alcohol. We're gonna nice and we're easing into the moment, bro. Boom. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. Up here. Uh, how come you don't drink shots anymore? I had a, it was like shots. Uh, it, I don't mind shots, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to like, get sick and stuff. Like shots, like I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't like hard alcohol that much. So um, that's why. I don't want to get uh, puke or something. Uh, so I never uh, met her, but I feel like she would totally hate me. Oh, Luna, yeah, um, she, she's cool. I think I think you and Luna would get along good. The best burrito joint in San Diego is a few of them. Um, I love going to uh, Humberto's is really good. Humberto's is dope. Um, Cerritos in Spring Valley is really dope too. They make a really good California burrito. But Humber Humberto's is, is dope. Birias, my man, man Pierre. Uh, Birias is amazing. I mean, he took me there years back. Amazing. Um, Las Cuatro's Milpas is really good too. Uh, but yeah, those, those, those are the few ones I'm thinking of right now. And there's probably more, but those are the ones I'm thinking of right now. Uh, I remember Burger King was giving away Men in Black Memory Eraser. Yes, I remember that. I remember that. Um, have you been to any museums in LA? I have. I've been to uh, the Broad Museum years ago. That was pretty cool. Since one time you've been drinking, uh, since this live stream, I've been drink all day. Uh, so I started this live stream about after seven o'clock. So about uh, the last two hours, I had, uh, I had three drinks. Last one right here. Yeah, Super Sergio. Yeah, Super Sergio's is good too. I love me some Super Sergio's. That's always good too. They have, they have a good roll tacos. At least, at least they used to. I don't know how they are now. The special number two roll tacos. You got five roll tacos with rice. For like six bucks, I think six or seven bucks, right? Super Sergio's. I always put sour cream on that too. So you get sour cream on that son of a gun and you're good. Roberto's Taco Shop. Okay, bro. Sir, oh man, Roberto's Taco Shop on 43rd, homie. Bro, I'm going to go there tonight. I'm going to go there tonight. Well, actually, probably not tonight, probably tomorrow. Roberto's. Okay, bro. That's that sounds I don't think I've been to Roberto's on 43rd. That sounds bomb as hell. Get some rolled tacos. Some shredded beef. I love me some shredded beef tacos. Love me some shredded beef tacos. El Pais is really good too. El Pais is really good too. Uh, but yeah, I love, I love all that stuff, man. Get some bean and cheese burritos, uh, rolled tacos, carne asada fries. We're gonna get hungry right here, man. But it's good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get across the street. Had every single street, uh, street shark toy ever. Wow, that's amazing. What's the last movie you saw in the theaters? Um, probably The Purge, or the last Purge movie. That was the last one I saw in the theaters. Uh, Purge for, Forever, Forever Purge. That was the last one I saw in the theaters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was the last one I saw. Was the Forever Purge with my buddy uh, Ryan. Yes, the Roll Tacos and the Cal Cali Burrito. Okay, cool. Roberto's, I'm, I gotta try it out, dude. I don't think I've been there. I don't, I don't know if I have it. I'll, I'll check out 43rd Street. I'll keep an eye out for it, dude. I love Cerritos, though. Cerritos, Cerritos in Spring Valley on Castillo. I mean, we got LA Beast right here. LA Beast, bro. Uh, dude, thank you so much for the donation. Keep on trucking. L.A. Beast right up here, folks. L.A. Beast right here. If you haven't watched L.A. Beast, I know, I know you've been under a rock. L.A. Beast is the man, dude. Oh, yeah. I think he has, like, you're rocking, bro, with, like, I think uh, three or four million subscribers. Oh, yeah. And that is the real beast. That is the real beast. 
that's the real beast, dude. That is the that is the that is beast. That is that is beast. Uh, Crystal Pepsi, brother. Crystal Pepsi. The guy that brought it back. Oh yes. Is that not the real Don Vito? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that is that is the real beast. That is the beast. Come on, that, that's the beast. Dude. Drink to you, beast. Come back to California or whatever. And we'll do. We'll make a video. And I will eat some like weird food or spicy food or something strange with you. That'd be cool. Or I'll go back east someday, which I would totally go to back east for a weekend and like eat some crazy food concoction and just see, see if I can do it. You know what I mean? But yeah, v LA Beast is the, the legend. I got my Crystal Pepsi right up here, folks. Crystal Pepsi right up here. We get some Crystal Pepsi, and we get some of the uh, Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi. Uh, this expired in uh, 2016, right up here. And we get some Bullwinkle Strawberry the Vita Soda. Have you guys ever heard of this? I don't know if you have, but yeah, Vita Soda. Right there, Vita Soda. But yeah, LBS is the man. Thank you, bro. Legend. Cool guy, I met him like a few years back here in San Diego. He was doing his comedy tour and he was coolly cool. We we're talking and stuff. Dope guy, so cool. Great videos. Love his stuff, man. Inspires me to do cool, like, like for like food stuff and drinking things. He's like the guy for sure. It inspires me to do that kind of stuff. Uh, how, yeah, how was that like the Flaming Hot uh, Mountain Dew drink? I, I, I want to try that the Mountain Dew. Flaming Hot Mountain Dew drink. I never had it. Uh, this just came out. It sounds disgusting, but I'll definitely try it out if I'm able to get a, get a hold of it. <sighs> Sprite Remix. Chilling and illin' is what we're doing. It's a great night. We're gonna, what a great night we're having here, folks. I, I gotta get a P.O. box, and maybe you guys can send me weird drinks, and I will try them out. Uh, Sir Oat, uh, 10 bucks here. By the way, I was totally yayed out in our T1 on Adventures video. Hell yeah. I didn't know that until now. My man Pierre was yippee ki yay yay, and we were having a great time. And dude, we, we, we gotta go to Tijuana again, bro. Let's go to Tijuana sometime soon. That'd be kind of cool. Tijuana, dude. Let's go to Tijuana, dude. Party with the Highness. Love our video, though. Videos, that's, a, that's a great classic video of Tijuana. This is the one me and Pierre did a long while back, like five years ago. Classic one. No Sinistocker wedding because I'm a single guy. So, no wedding anytime soon. I'm married to the game. I'm married to myself. Right, it's right there. It's, it's my myself. It's it's myself. Married to me right now, but it's okay. Uh, nonsense. The can't tie the cinnamon down. <laughs> yes, but it's just. I drank this. If it's empty now, but I drank this. It's like really gross. Like I don't know. Have you guys ever had this? I don't know. The hot, hot Heine. I love me the hot Heine's, dude. Hong Kong bar. Oh, oh, Hong Kong bar. Adelita's. Um, good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Good stuff. And what else? He, he goes whatever the wind takes him. Yes, I do. I, I just like, you know, play the field and have a good time. We go, go to Las Pulgas. Las Pulgas. The most dangerous club in Tijuana. We should go there. We should go to Hong Kong. We should go to anywhere. We should go to friggin' uh, Rosarito. That'd be dope as hell too. And uh, have a great time. I love me some Mexico, man. I love me some Mexico. Vegas for my birthday. I, I should do Vegas. Um, I might do, I might, maybe I'll do a party here. I don't even know. Maybe I'll do a party here. I'll play some crappy and Competech music so I can record it and not get copyright infringement. Um... Did I go to the new Evil Dead exhibit? Um, I th I don't know if I did. I saw it. I don't know. I don't think I did. I not. I don't know. I don't think I did. Um, a good burger. Home of good burger. I love. I love me some Carmen Electra 
in Good Burger. Uh, she was she's hot. Carmel Electra, man, way back in the day. I used to have Carmel Electra posters in my bedroom. I wish I would have kept those for you know things. Uh, try little nitro gummies. That, that's what uh, LAB say. Yeah, those gummies. Those look insane. Um, Sir Oat, we were literally there and partying up. You know what's up. Yeah, dude, I know what's up, bro. <laughs> we, need a, we need a store trip. You need the Curse of La Lorena. Yeah, I know that. I, I've never seen that one, but I've experienced in Tijuana. I experienced many a curse in Tijuana, but a fun curse. I love me some. Yeah, Tijuana, bro. Man, Tijuana is fun as hell. I love doing the Tijuana videos. Um, it's fun. Like, Tijuana uh, with, the, with the, the hooker tacos. At that taco spot, bomb tacos. Um, get me some soul beers. Give me some kawamas, kawamon. And we'll like psh, all day, baby. Get some go to the mezcal bar. It has like a disco floor, and like a revolution. And it's just like party like no other, dude. That, that we should do. We should totally do that. I'm totally down to go. Um, whenever the hell we can totally go next week. I don't care. We can totally go to that. Um, dumpster dives. Um, I don't, I'm not really dumpster diving. I, I got lucky during that time because I was helping my man move stuff out of his shops. So that's why I saw the dumpster tapes were there. I don't really go around looking for dumpster stuff. So I probably will never do a dumpster dive video unless I know there's some good stuff there. But you never know though. But probably not. Um, what do you think of horror movies hitting theaters? <clears throat> not in Halloween season. Um, it's fine. But I prefer them in Halloween season because it's more fun. Uh, we got Tri we got Tr Trish Stratus was hot back when she was pretty hot. Jessery Swarbrick. When will I see Sean again? Um, I don't know. Maybe like it might maybe I don't know. I don't know what maybe this month, maybe for my birthday or uh, after that probably. Probably do something. Uh, Sable, yeah, Sable's hot too. Uh, what do you think of Halloween Town? I like I like to be some Halloween Town. I love Under Wrap. Under Wraps is a great one. Under Wraps. Made for Disney movie. Good stuff. Uh, a lot of horror movies get released in August. Yeah, August, yeah. Are you going, are you going to trick or treating this year? If so, with who? Maybe I'll go with my mom again for a laugh. That'd be kind of funny. And just look like, like last year. I need a gift box for fans. Like, what's the address? I, 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 need, I know I need a P.O. box. Um, are you going to watch a movie tonight after the stream? Um, probably not. I'll probably, just, I'll probably just take a shower. Uh, drink some water and wind down and then have a snack and then go to bed. That's probably, that's probably what I'll do. You're going to choose which is your favorite James Dean movie, Ethan Trina. Probably uh, Re Rebel Without a Cause, but a close, close second is East of Eden. It's a tie between East of Eden and Rebel Without a Cause. I do love Giants, too. Uh, Giants great. Is uh, Marshall Scotty's having a haunted amusement park this year? I don't know. They probably not, but they might. I don't know. That'd be cool. I would totally go to it. Any VHS tapes, tapes I'm looking for? Um, nothing much. It's just kind of whatever pre presents itself. I'll, I'll totally get. All right, ADTR breakdown. Thanks for joining the stream tonight. It was fun having you on. Have a great night, dude. Um. Favorite classic? Are you afraid of the dark? I love me the um, Zebo the Clown. That's a famous one. That, that one always freaks me out. I do like it. It's good. So we're 148 minutes in here. I'll probably leave this. I'll probably leave the stream in like five, ten minutes. So five or ten minutes. Five or ten minutes. I'll probably I'll be off the stream. It's been a been a while. So I'll probably five or ten minutes. Just to give a heads up. Uh, am I a Thomas Ian Nicholas fan? Um, he's cool, but I'm like I'm like I'm not a fan though. He's cool, but I'm like I'm not a fan though. Um, any more stale cereal to eat? Um, I still have some stale cereal. I got some, um, I still got my Adam's Family cereal up there. I need to buy a new one, a new cereal to eat for you guys. A new cereal. I definitely gotta, you gotta get a new one, uh, to eat. My, my eyes were getting all glossy. My eyes were like stinging right now. I'm like, oh my God, my eyes. The eyes, they get the stingy, the stingy eyes. I'm like, oh, the eyes. It looks like I've been smoking something with my eyes all like like that. I had to rub them though. They were kind of like we're stinging a little bit. I bought all three Silver Shamrocks. Okay, uh, thoughts on new Chucky series coming out this month. I'm looking forward to it. And definitely curious to see how it's going to be like. Definitely curious to be like. 
would you do movie reactions? Those are trained nowadays. Um, I'm not really into those videos that much, but uh, they're kind of, they're cool. Any ladies in the life of Cinestock right now? Nothing, nothing in particular, but I do, I do talk to a few of them. But nothing in particular, just like, you know, just talking and seeing what's out there. Um, you can't find the episode of You're Afraid of the Dark. I was thinking of the, uh, the Dark, blah, blah, blah. They, they, they remade the, uh, and the wraps. I heard, oh, wow, that's crazy. Uh, Danny, are you joining TikTok? Yeah, I'm on, I actually am on TikTok. Uh, if you look up Cinestalker, I'm, in, I'm on TikTok. I've not made a lot of videos. I'm, I really don't like TikTok that much. It's kind of dumb. Um, but I made an account on there. And, uh, you know, just to, just for the hell of it. Uh, thank you, Josh. I'm glad you liked the airplane tragedy video. That was last Saturday in San Diego. That was, that was very tragic what happened uh, a long time ago. Very horrible. Uh, but yeah, I'm on TikTok. Let's look up Sinistock or you'll see me on, on TikTok. I haven't really told no one. I have like a very small amount of followers on there. And, uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's like weird about it. It's like, I, I get it, but it's kind of, it's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb on TikTok. I just, I just did it for the hell of it, but it's, it's really, I don't know, it's, it's really kind of stupid. <laughs> Have a great night, Ethan. Let's see the Jason Mast fluffy gut yet. Oh yeah, it's over, um, it's down there. It's over there. Biden on TV, I like scary movies. Yo, what's up? I like me some scary movies too. Scary movies are very fun, I'm de definitely down. Um, what is the horror movie music score or song that creeps you out the most? Um, probably the e Exorcist is very creepy. Um, uh, pro probably that Exorcist probably. One of the personal favorites, uh, horror is f f favorites Jason. That's a pretty fun one. It's, it's kind of cheesy, but it's fun. You used to have a, a Tara Patrick poster in your room. Holy crap, that's pretty cool. I never knew she made posters. Maybe it's a nude poster. I never knew she made posters though. The Spir yeah, that's a scary song too. Suspiria is really good too. Is the alien a love doll? No, it's not. I just have it there because I got nothing there, so I just gotta, I just kind of keep it right there. I always, I always try to find something there. I never do, like a table or something, like a little like like shelving unit thing. I've been saying that for like a past over a year now. I never put something there. I'm like, oh my god, I definitely gotta find some though. Uh, do I like her Hereditary? Yeah, it's sort of depressing. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. I met some Gunner, Gunner after Gunner Hansen. Wow, that's pretty cool, Josh. Uh, Brian B. Have you ever seen The Conjuring? Yes, I have. I, I like The Conjuring. I like the first one. I like The Conjuring series. They're pretty cool. Uh, Michael F Fallon says, do you like uh, nice hack movies too? Oh, yeah, I like some I like some comedies sometimes. Uh, cartoons and stuff sometimes. Like, like old school cartoons from the 80s and 90s. But I mostly prefer horror stuff, drama ones, obscure kind of movies. I prefer that stuff or action flicks. Now, it depends on the movie, but certain things like that. I think the alien is hot. Well, it, it's, it's a hot alien. <laughs> Am I going to review Venom Carnage? No, I'll probably, I'll probably, I'm not, it's not my kind of movie I'll, I'll watch. Project X Party, yep. Uh, Galley, not much happens here. We're heading hereditary. We're in multiple we watches. Yeah, no, it's like you watch it like one time, maybe twice, and then you're pretty much good with hereditary. Ever watch Rawhead Rex? Yeah, I have it on videotape, but we have it on VHS. Um, over there, I have it on, oop. It's like, it's like, it's it's that way. It's the VHS is over there. I have it on VHS over there. <laughs> I have it on VHS. Do I like Hammer movies? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I, I, I got a lot of Christopher Lee, man. Peter Cushing, good stuff. Shane Buddy, well, that's really nice, hell yeah. Um, remember the Spawn cartoon on HBO? Yes, I, 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 dude, I got the Spawn cartoon series on complete on Laserdisc. I, I can't play it, but I bought the, I bought the Laserdisc uh, cartoon series on Laserdisc for like a dollar or something. It's like, it's like brand new. Yeah, I think a dollar or something. Yeah, around there. But it's about, uh, I'll probably leave here in about a minute. Because, uh, yes, I'm going to go take a nice shower and chill. So it was great talking with you guys. So last minute, last second things. Because I'm going to get off the stream for a little bit. And just kick back and chill. And if you guys missed the beginning of the stream, I showed this at the beginning. Monster Makeup. So if you guys want to check this out, um, you'll, be, you'll be good. 
Yeah, I did cry and free Willy when he was released the whale. I was like, oh my God. Enjoy the rinse. I will take a nice rinse, get some water, and watch some crap on TV, then hit the hay. So anyway, thank you all. I'm probably got the stream right now. So anyway, thank you all so much for leaving the, for hanging out with me tonight. For all your donations, I appreciate it. It was so much, it was so much fun, man. Pierre, Fair, everyone donate, donated. We even had LA Beast here. Big YouTuber, LA Beast was here earlier, donated some money to me too. So thank you also, LA Beast. That was, that was like out of nowhere, so that was really cool. So it's a fun time hanging out with you guys, talking this thing. Retro clothes like polo. So hope you guys enjoyed this Friday Night Frights live edition of it. Um, so hope you guys want to rewatch it again. Check it out again. Thank you, man. Another five buck bomb from man Pierre. Good night. Hope you enjoy the next hood drink special. Thank you, Pierre. All your donations, man. You're awesome, bro. Really cool. Have a safe trip back here to San Diego next week. And we'll do that little hood drinking, just ain't a hood drink, but a hood drinking challenge type thing and have a great night everybody have a great fun weekend and remember tomorrow at afternoon time have a new video tomorrow of me hitting up in a weird abandoned area that i found out in the middle of nowhere so look out for that around noon tomorrow you guys have a great night spooky season is here watch your horror movies and have a good one and i'll see you next time and good night